Welcome back to Seen It Before. We're probably going to say something stupid about your favorite movie because we've seen it all before. I'm Danny. Ignore me. I'm just trying to move my coffee out of the shop. I'm Dan. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no sponsor on it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, today we're doing a big franchise episode. So we got what, 32 franchises. Oh, my God. Today yes, we're indeed. Talk about, we're going to explain all the rules in just a minute, but let's bring in our guests. We got Sean and Joe. They're back so. for another that's Sean and Eric Joe. around. There they are. I can't wait to shit on your favorite movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, honestly, that's going to be a lot of what I have to say. <laughs> You're just too. on here for spite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to spite. duck on people. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you like the Terminator movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who watches that? Those are yeah. sucky movies. <laughs> well, if, if there's <laughs> any... Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but anyway, our audience voted as well for the first round of movies, and uh, yes. there's some interesting responses we got. I love there. you people. Yeah, ones that like <laughs> straight up just surprised me. We'll get into it. We're going to get into but, it a little yeah. bit, but first, let's get to it. Nice. All right. So. Okay, so we well, we got so I got I have a PowerPoint that I made and just want to make sure everybody's on the same page and so, you know, um I'm I'm very proud of it. I heard there's a thousand slides. A thousand is six. Shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ready. So first of all, we should define what a franchise is. Um, it's a series of official theatrically released movies with four or more movies in its run or universe. There are exceptions, which we'll get to later. But the rules. Uh, there's the time. Each bracket debate will be under five minutes since there are 16 separate brackets. That's roughly... Uh, and obviously, we can... If someone go longer, we can give an extra minute or two. To yeah, yeah. It's just, to, and everything. it's just to stay on track because yeah. we don't want this... Being three hours long. Yeah. Um, we have uh, arguments. There needs to be reasoning behind your answer. I wish that we had this uh, last time because <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> there was plenty of Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight. Dark Knight <laughs> against Goodfellas. Okay. No explanation. Guess Dark, so. Dark Knight. Yeah. So example, uh, I pick Star Wars because it's not an acceptable argument. <clears throat> Shit. Then we have the event of a tie. In the event of a tie, the fan vote and or the director, who is Gavin, will be deciding the winner. And oh, the, the fan, fan vote, vote. Fan vote. Well, a fan vote for the first round, but if, say, we get a tie in the second, second round, because mathematically, we can't have fan votes for all of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Gavin is um, here. Gavin, you want to say hi? Hello there. There he is. Cool. That's Gavin. <laughs> the fans have spoken for all round one matchups, and they're all worth one point each. Same thing with the director's vote. Um, objectivity is key here. When deciding the winner, the arguments will be based on objectivity instead of what the favorite franchise may be. For example, I like John Wick because he killed everyone who killed his puppy, and I love puppies. Not an acceptable argument. Yeah, but that's Joe. all my arguments. <laughs> I mean that that is the entire franchise. So <laughs> it literally is the entire franchise, right? We'll get to that. What? We'll, we'll we can talk about it in the moment. <laughs> all right. Uh, next slide is supplemental material. This was one we actually kind of had to argue about and get down to brass tacks on. Um, there will be no supplemental material such as TV shows, shorts, comics, novels, etc. Taken into account for this bracket. You can talk about them, but they won't be taken into account. I feel targeted. Yes. And the reason say. is because targeted. there is so much stuff that is debated, whether it's in the same run, universe, canon, non-canon, uh, and it's stuff that just, you know, doesn't exactly make sense to be included in it. So... Uh, no Disney Plus shows or other streaming or cable shows. No Star Wars novels, EU or canon. No animated series. No Alien comics. No Terminator, the Sarah Connor, Sarah Connor Chronicles. What about the Predator right. comics? You can put that on the slide. Yeah, those are fucking those, awesome, I meant, too. I meant in general. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to find a way. Uh, so an example of a different or a exception to the exception, uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars movie is included because it was theatrically released in 2008 and in the same continuity slash canon of Star Wars, the animated series, although is not. So Star Wars is going to get hit a lot for that. So you got to take that into account. Uh, no Freddy's Nightmares, no Friday the 13th show, because is that even, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, no Scream, no Animatrix, even though one of the shorts was theatrically released. The exceptions or clarifications. This is uh, going to be the biggest slide. Excluded. Uh, Spider-Man, for example. You might have questions about that, but there's three distinct franchises, Toby, Andrew, and Tom, although Tom's movies will be taken into account because they're part of the MCU. All the Sony Spider-Verse movies, Toby, Andrew, not included because they're not part of the MCU. Trilogies. That's right. They do not meet the four or more definition. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question on the previous okay. note. Yeah. So v Venom, Madam Web, Morbius, included or not included? Not, not included. Copy. Tom's, Tom's movies are included by like proxy, just got by it. chance. Yeah. Got it. Okay. 
Um, trilogies, they don't meet the four or more definition unless they're part of a larger franchise. So Captain America is included, but that's part of the MCU. It's such a big thing. Dark Knight, Godfather, Back to the Future, Cornetto trilogy, not included. Sad. Alien versus Predator movies. And, well, we, we had a debate about whether or not Freddy versus Jason. I say it's included, but maybe we just won't talk about it because there's a debate there. It's fine. I, we might not even get to it, honestly, with how long we have to talk about things. Yeah. So, also, we yeah. do not need to talk about the AVP movies. <clears throat> What do you mean? The first one? The, <laughs> the first, first one's, one's okay. awesome. The, the first, first one's I do awesome. like the first one. Requiem one? sucks, though. Oh Re- God, Requiem, Requiem is awful. Is so bad. Although there is um, Olivia Munn's in it. I mean, yeah. yeah. And there's a... <laughs> and Wait, a, is that... There's an okay scene with her. Uh, Psy- Psylocke? Okay, so she's yes. not... You know, I get her and the girl who oh, married... She was Prince also... Uh, oh, no, my. she married Who's Aaron Rodgers. Uh, oh, yeah. Or or maybe it was dating. I don't know if they married, but that I was her. I don't think they're married. <laughs> so, no, no, no. They're no longer together. <laughs> she nursed in that ACL. <laughs> yeah. uh, back to the slide. This will be like the last slide. or two. There's one more slide after this. Included. Um, all the James Bond incarnations. They're more considered to be a whole franchise in public opinion than rather than separate franchises. And we also talked about this. Um, couldn't come to consensus, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're just yeah. gonna yeah, we're gonna do them all. We're fine. Uh, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth movies. Anything with such a strange continuity, but they're all we were considered canon at one point. But they, you bro, know, they I have love Season of the Witch. That sounds yeah. So you. even that's included. Oh, sick! Because that's, that's just part of it. Now, how, how about uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Five? Uh, the Dream Child. Dream Child. Yeah. yeah what the name. heck is that, bro? I saw that on Netflix last night. Yeah. What the heck is that? It's a fucking weird ass. <laughs> mo- yeah, like so there's like an unborn fetus yeah. that's dreaming. Fred, Freddy possesses an unborn fetus. Yeah. What the heck? They uh, were doing drugs. Is when this they supposed wrote to be? Uh, what? Yeah. Well, I remember. Uh, sorry. Because I don't know it. What? I remember the when girl who the wrote I don't know who bro. So she wrote this where she's like oh yeah I was having a baby and I was just really concerned about like the abortion talks and stuff because it was like the late 80s or whatever so she's like, she's like I need to do something about this jeez Louise <laughs> she made that movie uh, missed opportunities um, <laughs> what happened to his hand? my response is just kind of uh, sorry we missed a few franchises that people are going to bring up Transformers Star Trek Evil Dead Planet of the Apes Pokemon Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles um I had some others too in there. Sorry. Okay, uh, awesome. There's always there can be a part two. We can yep. always do that. Mm-hmm. And as always, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Okay. That's why I'm here. So I guess it's time to get into our first bracket. Correct? Yes. Uh, Gavin, what is that first bracket? If you could please enlighten us. The first bracket. MCU the DCEU. Mm. Yeah, so uh Kind of a no-brainer. Dark Knight. For <laughs> Dark Knight. Dark Knight. <laughs> Dark Knight. All right. uh, all right, but for uh, joking purposes, put, put that's, that not, clock on the board, that's not included. Huh? That's not included. Dark Knight is not included. Yeah. No, this is just the DCEU. So we're talking like Wonder Woman and mm, that all was the other one. movies. Yeah, that was so, a good one. All right. So starting with Man of Steel. <laughs> the only good one. All right. Man of Steel. Okay. Valid. Yeah. Okay, right. so it's that's the one I I like. I yeah. like Man of Steel. You yeah, know? that's one of the, that's one of the best Supermans in my opinion. Like, uh, we'll get into it later. Yeah, um, there's a whole yeah. But the like original Superman, all it's almost better than that in my opinion. Mm. Man of Steel. Henry Cavill. It's just a different darker take on Superman. A great, like yeah. physically, he's a great Superman. Yeah. Acting wise, he's a great Superman. He just plays the part really well. Yeah, but like everything around the DCU. It's a flaming pile of crap, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the bad part. <laughs> it's, it's like, good, bad, good, really bad, decent. That's like yeah. how it goes. Yeah, that's like, the, that's like Man of Steel is the best you're getting out of the DCU. Yeah, like, there's, there's decent. There's Suicide Squad, then there's The Suicide Squad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, Suicide Squad was a flaming hot pile of trash. Like, I remember when <clears> Wonder <throat> Woman came out, and everyone was like, there's a chance this mm-hmm. is going to be good. And then Wonder Woman 2 came out, and when they were like, nope. No. No. Yeah, and, we spoke no too soon. The yeah, first Wonder, Wonder Woman was so good. It was really good. Like, and then the second one came out. I remember watching it, being, like, really excited for it. I'm like, this is going to be just as good as the first one. And I, like, turned it on, and I think within 15 minutes, I was like, No. <laughs> I mean, I love Peter Pascal, but he but it br- it I lowers his brand, best- dude. I always yeah, I yeah. always say this: the more he does crap like this, and you're hey, gonna you hate me. Somebody needs a paycheck, man. Yeah, you but he's getting plenty of paycheck. Yeah, paycheck. Bro. Yeah, he is. He's getting plenty. It's of the paycheck. Mandalorian. It, it, it's he's lowering joined. the brand. Maybe not for the last of season two. Well, great. Ex- exactly. Don't need it. <laughs> what else is there? there? Is so the Suicide Squad is part of it. Uh, what do we think about Aquaman? Anyone see the Aquaman? I haven't seen the newest one. The newest one I was yeah, watching, no. and uh, I thought they cut out Amber Turd 
in uh in totality they, they greatly reduced her greatly role. reduced her roles um it's funny she like shows up and she's like a ah and then she like does some blast and then she's just like <laughs> bye like fucked off <laughs> it was fun you know yeah. and then you see her again in another 45 minutes and that's it yeah. also um when i first watched aquaman I fell asleep the first time, and I was like, "All right, let me get a se second chance." I fell asleep the second time. Yeah, there the we go. Third time, I was on my phone the whole time, and I was like, "Yeah, this movie sucks." Yeah, I, give up. I would, I wouldn't say it sucked. It just nothing really happened the yeah. whole time. It, it was very. I like James Wan as a director, but he was. It was probably edited so heavily from his actual vision of the movie. Um, he's, he's a, a funny DC guy. Heads. Mm. What about uh, the Justice League Snyder or not Snyder cut? Uh, they're both bad in my okay. opinion, Great. but Me Joss too. Whedon's is just. So much worse. I don't know how you make that bad. Like my dad walked out of the of movie. the theater. Yeah, I've never done. that. I was thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly, I want to clarify something. Is it five minutes for each category? Like five minutes for DC? Five, five minutes, minutes for Mar Marvel? Or no, five, five minutes per bracket. Okay, so we yeah, gotta got get it. to Marvel. Yeah. So anyway, I think it's pretty clear we're all picking MCU, and like we haven't even said any good points yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Let's, 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 negative points. Let's, <laughs> let's start with Iron Man. Like Iron Man started it all. It was yep. yeah. fucking great. Absolutely. Like, I am Iron Man, and it ends with. I am Iron Man. Absolutely. Well, it doesn't. It should. It should. <laughs> where it should have been. It should have. <laughs> although Guardians Three happened and Guardians Two, I still to this day say is one of the. That's best still properties. just a holdover from the Bulky. the good old days. It's, it's literally just a Christmas it's special. To That's all it is. Yeah. But it's a good Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, not the what? holiday special? And, I mean, I guess it just felt like the same thing, you know. Like Guardians Three kind of felt like the same thing. Like, oh, really? Well, no, only I because I, I completely disagree. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe because I didn't watch it in the theaters. You know what I mean? I mean, they have bat people in the third one. Come on, let's let's yeah. be real here. This is the best one. It was I don't great. know. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, I, it didn't uh, feel like a full movie to me. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Um, but then there's this. And let's talk about the Tom Holland Spider Man movies. Uh, great. They're great. They're great. They're great. Besides Far From Home, I'm not a big fan of Far From Home. It kind of like. I don't know. If it, one I'm with you there. Means. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just I feel like it's just kind of there. It doesn't Wait, that's, move the that's plot the forward one, right? too much. Yeah. No, Mysterio was sick in that, dude. Yeah, he was sick. Mysterio was so yeah, sick. This is the, the first time we've got Mysterio on screen, and I know I I'm not supposed to talk about it, but comic books, Mysterio is like one of the baddies. <laughs> Bro, he's, he's got a, a fucking baddie. he's got a fishbowl, bro. He's got the green suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. any of you played so the, the video game? <laughs> the, uh, I mean, I, I will say though, the way they wrote his character in the movies, it kind of like They were like literally, how do we make a petty person the ultimate villain? Hire Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, what else? Uh, we got like thirty seconds. So. I, MCU good. I mean, so it's just like Infinity War. MCU Endgame. at its height. Oh, Infinity. Oh my God, Infinity. War. Guardi yeah. Guardians oh. one and two. It's always like, like, like at least MCU. No, MCU had that, a heyday. Oh, come on. Like, it was like the peak of like everything. Like, movies right at the time. Yeah. DC never even peaked. Because like, they top, tried to catch up too fast. Right, you know? And it just did not. Work. Yeah, they're like, we suck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so, All right. <laughs> like that. Time is up there. Um, and so it's clear it's MCU. MCU by Landslide. Enough. Yeah. Yes. MCU so, Landslide. And our fans also. Fans voted MCU. MCU. So Great. It's unanimous. Yeah. Love that. All right. What's Sorry, that? DC. We're going to do our second one. Gavin. <laughs> the five of you. <laughs> the next one is Later. The Wizarding World versus The Hunger Games. All right. So Wizarding World includes uh, Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts movies. Yeah. So so uh, that's that's when I was surprised. Because the fan, Spoiler, the fans picked Hunger Games on this. You're going to people guys to tell me why on that. Because like, I don't know. I watched all four of them, well, three of them this week. I've seen the first Hunger Games before, so I didn't need to watch that again. But I watched two, three, and four. Two is fucking great. I loved it. Um, but Gavin, Wait, so you didn't uh, see... Gavin, <clears throat> can we get the timer, please? You didn't see a song, <laughs> songbird, Ballad of Songbird? See, and whatever. I that one, that one. That's the best one of the that whole franchise. That is the best. It elevates it to like another level. Really? I didn't, it didn't that's, need that's to. That's the best well, one of the franchise. It's really good. I didn't good. see it yeah. either, but... It's like three distinct... At, like movies yeah. in one movie. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, maybe but, that's why they all liked it. Though. The third one, it's like a trilogy, and it's <laughs> the third one was just kind of like it. Meh. It was just Katniss screaming, "Where's Peter for two hours?" Yeah, that's all it was. And then they were in a fucking missile silo. It's like, oh, I, I'm like, I can't control and myself. I might like, like, kill you at like okay, the worst cool, moment. But. Also, did it need to be two movies? It exactly. Didn't. No, because See, they're corporate taking greed. They're also, corporate the, greed. Like. No, I know we're not supposed well, to bring this in the books, the but the books are like that. Yeah, they're not that. Yeah. They're not long, so but they the, like stretch. The funny that thing shit is, out. though, like okay, so we just watched part two uh, two nights ago. Yeah. Uh, which, part, so part I really part, liked part, Finnick, right? Yeah, part one. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, he, when he dies, she's all like, "Finnick, right, I gotta go." 
It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just like nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Finnick. I liked him. Yeah, yeah, he was cool. Didn't he, if I'm remembering correctly, I mean, this is, do I have to say spoiler? I guess. It's no, rarity. no. Spo- it, it doesn't. It, it, he, he like dies down in the sewer, right? Yeah, with yeah. all the, Fighting the, all of those fucking those creatures. Things, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he like blew up within a grenade explosion. What else? Well, yeah, Katniss do? blows him up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that <laughs> was like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to do? Sorry. Oh, no. Go. Dude, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I got to go find my PETA. Then her and PETA live happily ever after. There's just something, <laughs> there's just something about, about the Hunger Games movies, the, at least the first four. Yeah. They just feel so young adult. Yes, well, definitely. It, it is. That's what yeah. it is. Ha- Harry Potter doesn't, though. No way. It, Harry Potter, it, it gets no darker. Way. It just okay. goes, you know, and yeah. that's the beauty of that friend. I think it's like the eight first eight movies, the best eight movie run, like maybe set before. Like, I would say so. It rivals the MCU, there, you know? There are some stinkers. I, I don't think there's no rival. I, I, I there's think there's one rival. maybe stinker. That's the Chamber of Secrets. No way! What? I think that's a stinker. I think that's a stinker. I I think I think arguably everyone will have one stinker, right? Like yeah. I have my opinion of well, one. It's, well, it's not even bad. My, it's just good. And then the other one. Exactly. Great. Exactly. Yeah. My yeah, my good. least favorite would probably be Goblet of Fire. Yeah. I was going to say that too. That's yeah. only because serialized serialized television. Just played that on rerun on okay. freaking <laughs> Disney, okay. uh, okay. Disney Family. So I saw that so many times. So I'm just over that. But as a whole, I'm with you on Danny. That's the strongest eight movie run, bar none. Period. I, w- I would agree. It's it's it rivals the MCU on that. No I rivalry. Say it, no rivalry. It you know paved the way for the MCU to be. Oh, 100. percent It was. Yeah. It was the like, we can make eight movies can and they this. can be good. <laughs> but and they can do it with all one yeah, character. Yeah. Yeah. They do it all with That's one true. character. The same not, cast. Yeah. No yeah, recast. Cast. Well, unfortunately, well, one. Unfortunately, one for Dumbledore. Yeah. But, right. Well, yeah. well, then they recast. They could recast like one of like the 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 background kids. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, them, and then one of them, yeah, one of the kids, one of the Slytherin kids got like arrested or something. Yeah, and the, oh no, died. he died. He died after. Okay, that was um, crab, I think. Yeah, crab. Uh, yeah, he died in like a bar fight or something. Yeah, unfortunately, got stabbed in London, I think. Well, yeah. you know, you can't go to London without getting stabbed. I guess, I guess not. <laughs> he probably said something to a family. Yeah, Irish. so then part one <laughs> of Deathly out. Hollows is kind of like. All right, eh? didn't need to be broken up. I yes. agree. Back Again. to the corporate greed bullshit. We didn't need to. Although those Hallows. books were long, so I get it. Yeah, yeah but they, they were, were no. Long. They were no longer than any of the other books. No, they were all like six hundred. The longest one was Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, exactly. And they they somehow crunched Order's that down. Not better than it should be. Or got that, rid of all the, the shitty one. Harry being like, I'm mad at everything in the world. You know, the Cedric dies. Yeah. Stay away from my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> you know, those movies are a little old. Up. Those dragons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. They look better than The Witcher Dragons. I haven't seen The Witcher. Don't watch I heard it. it was just an awful, awful show. It's I not. disagree with both of you, Lucas. I tried season <laughs> one. I tried season one, which apparently was good. or was awesome. Close to the source. And like, I'm like, I'm not vibing with like the source material. Right. I'm sure, awesome. it's a great game. Off but. topic. Off topic. Yep, so. Okay. Um, Loser. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to have to go against... The fan vote I here. I think Wizarding World is. Just, I mean, even the Fantastic Beasts. Even Fantastic Fantastic Beasts, dude. Uh, those are shit movies. Uh, no, the first one's good. The first one's good. The first one's pretty strong. Hard disagree. I two, think they're all two shit. and three garbage. It, three is off. I saw it alone in the theater. It was bad. <laughs> Mistake. But, but like Hunger <laughs> Hunger Games just was always at like just a little bit better than Mids. than the Fantastic Beast movies. Harry Potter outshone. All of that stuff. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So hundred percent agree. You know, yeah, that last this current movie. I don't know. It, it it it. I think it is like the quality of like a, a better Harry Potter movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. The other Just, four though, but it's only weird. one. But really there's quick only before one. Before the timer runs out too, the Harry Potter franchise has made it so people have made their entire like personality around. Ah! It. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's our timer. I love how this is the sound you put for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like on one of our first times editing. Yeah. Like, and we were trying to do like this cut ins because while you were like, oh, wow, we were really drunk last night. <laughs> well, it was crazy. But then I, I didn't know we were recording. So I just ended up picking up that sound effect and spend the thing, the thing ever since. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it's, it's been the end sound for our podcast. If, yeah. you, if you listen to the end, who listens to the end of stuff? Us, because we edit. You guys yeah. have a podcast? <laughs> nightmare, all right. nightmare, nightmare. So, all right. So, Wizarding World? Wizarding I'm Wizarding, Wizarding World. World. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, all four, sorry, fans. Wizarding World. All right, we got to our next one, Gavs. Next Gavs. bracket is Alien versus Predator, not to be confused with Alien versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, now we get into it. Now this yeah. is going to be a good Now one. speaking of, stay away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Alien. 
it's just so good, man. Like, the first one is just classic space horror. It started space horror. Well, well did it? Because I guess there's... um. There's been ones what's, before. What's there's the one before Dark it? Star before that. There's other movies. You'd that say yeah, maybe 2001. The mainstream. Yeah, 2001. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, 2001. There's um, others. There's sci-fi. a lot of more smaller hits. Yeah, but, but no one does it like Ridley Scott. No one does. It like well, that. back then with Ridley Scott. Yeah, we don't talk about Ridley Scott today. Why? What's What's to talk about today? Uh, Napoleon. Napoleon. Yeah, yeah, oh, actually, I haven't right. seen that. Yeah, well, I, but, we're, well, but we're just talking about the Alien franchise. Yeah, anyway, so back Did, to Alien. Eighty percent of that movie is just him awkwardly having sex with. We're his not wife talking that about okay. that. <laughs> we're talking about the Alien franchise. <laughs> okay. Um, I uh, this one's actually kind of hard. Uh, cause I am actually not a fan of the original Predator movie. Believe like, it or not. Get to get the, the job. Come on, man. It's got great. It's, I don't have time on. to bleed. I don't know. Like, don't come on. It. I, the thing is, I'm, I don't really like any of the alien movies after aliens. Although, no, I like Prometheus, but everyone hated that alien one. Alien 3 is trash. Mm-hmm. Although I love David Fincher. Um, well, he, he disowned that movie. He doesn't, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it. I, yeah. I just, I watched that, uh, in preparation for this, um, podcast because I do the homework. And it, I didn't think it was that bad, you know. Like, like I've heard the garbage, you know, spewed at that, but uh, I didn't think it was that bad. I I watched Covenant, and that was very interesting. I it brought a a little bit more, you know, substance, I guess, to the alien like planet. But like, it, yeah. it was just kind of there. It's like there's like a white alien running around now. Like, what is what is going on here? I don't know. It, it looks really cool. It, it's very cool. It's very well made. It's just but like, you also you also watch Covenant without Prometheus, right? Yeah. Can I, I just? Oh say no, you got to see Prometheus. Oh, I know. I, I almost know, turned but. Covenant off within the first thirty minutes because I was furious because watching that movie, there's a bunch of like explorers going to a new planet, and they're like, "Oh, it has oxygen. We don't need helmets." Immediately gets infected with spores, stepping out of the plane, and causes everyone to die because you didn't wear a spacesuit. Mm. But but and I'm just like this is so fucking dumb right. You're right. Is the- <laughs> didn't didn't they say I don't know if it was Prometheus or um what's the other one? Alien Covenant. 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 Covenant yeah. Um, I could be wrong on this, but didn't they say we're in the pipe five five five? They might have at some point. Don't you love that as a classic Alien fan? Yeah, I do. Great. Aliens is probably one of my favorite movies of all times. Yeah. Aliens. A- yeah. Aliens. Yeah, they had a drinking great. game to it. Yeah. I, yeah I, that fucking drinking game almost killed me, man. Uh, what, it was every time you say they say LV-426, <laughs> colonists, and uh, you had to waterfall for the entire hive scene, which is uh, five uh, minutes long. Oh, my God. And we, like, literally almost died. I, I, think <laughs> I was like, Why would you do that? Uh, uh, because we hate <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the, the Predator movies, though, um, I'm not a big fan of the first one. Um, everyone kind of agrees that Predator Two is sucks. Yeah, right. I, I like I Predator was, Two. I never saw it, but it's, I, okay. I have. Heard it's okay. It's I mean, I like the first one a lot better. The first one is better. I honestly went into it. I forgot Predator Two was a thing. I thought Predators was the second one. Oh my god! So you I watched it. Predators. Yeah. And I was like. It's like a rehash of the first movie. What is going? On? Well, no, no, so no, no, no. Predators is interesting. <laughs> um, that was the first R-rated movie I snuck in yeah. to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was very interesting with like what they were able to do with the kind of uh, you know on, on that movie Annihilation. Um, yes. You know what with, with the bear, the talking yes. bear, scene? like yeah. they kind of took cues from Tran- Danny Trejo in that in this movie with the, that whole thing where they're using him his body or whatever as a decoy. Uh, really cool ideas and stuff, and so it was interesting that like, you have like all these different characters, and they're like they're like all like the deadliest predators in their own areas. So it's like an interesting thing on the on the planet. It just kind of felt. You know, just like, oh, we know where this is going. You know also, what I mean? Also, that movie tried to make Adrian Brody like a main, you know, yeah. that man. That was the biggest just, flaw, yeah. in my opinion. Adrian Brody, he, he tried guy, to do the Christian know. Bale thing. He yeah. talks like this. Yeah. He yeah. tried to do the what Christian Bale thing, weird. and it just didn't really work. Like, uh, but I'll say uh, Predators is my favorite. I, yeah, Predators it's probably my Predators. Well, <laughs> it's so much fun, and uh, if anyone knows me, now, that's what I'm into. Okay, let's get to Prey quickly, because we have 30 seconds left. Well, the Predator was Shane Black's movie, but everyone... That was straight up horrible. I've never seen was, a worse movie. I don't yeah, think. That was weird. But oh, Prey, I've seen that. holy Prey, shit! Prey was awesome. Great return. I'm very yeah. excited oh for them to make the follow up. Yes, they will be doing. That. Um, and Prey was just really cool. Bro, the bear scene. Oh yeah. my god, awesome! That's all I gotta say. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, it's like, like th- throwing the just, axe and like pulling I like, the back thing. I really hope yeah, with the, cool. with the, that was cool. I man. really hope they continue going to different eras and showing a predator in different eras. Yep. it'd be very cool to see. I still want them to do very quickly the uh, predator thing ah! from. Is your fine? Keep going. Uh, the guy from Shogun, uh, the main character from that. Yes. They 
said someone pitched that they should make a samurai prey movie set in feudal Japan with him as the main character. I would I would that would be so that's, that's take my money. To take my team. money. Take my money. Take it. <laughs> All right. So let's make come to a consensus, guys. I'm Alien. going Predator. No no, I'm no go- fault. I'm sorry. I love Alien franchise. I also yeah, love Alien. Alien just seems more there's more there, you know. For the record, there's, Joe said Predator. I said Predator. Oh. Shit. Yeah, the no, movie he, franchise is awesome, dude. I I will say the Alien franchise it it, it just got worse. It, it got worse yes. as it went. Predator it's yeah. It's like right we know what to ways. expect. You know, but the first two aliens. <laughs> they just are can't such get classics, aliens right, man. Yeah, they first just can't. two. Ever since those, they can't re- recreate the success. They just You're can't right. get the. You're right. Prometheus was, I guess, you know, close, but as close but as they, yeah. it, it was just so different but, from. And, but exactly, it wasn't even a xenomorph. Like rocks, it wasn't like even a xenomorph in Prometheus. Yeah. So That's is a good point. is that even aliens? <laughs> That's a good point. You know? They called it the Deacon, I think. No, no, no. I thought it was um the first one that comes out of the the engineer. Oh, the engineer. That's what I thought they were called. Yeah, the engineer's the white guy. Yeah. And then the, the first xenomorph looking thing is called a deacon, I think. Well, even if Danny and I both picked Alien, Predator still wins by proxy because yeah. he can vote. So. Okay. Predator. Fair enough. Let's go. Fair enough. But but I'm interested what would Danny have chosen. I, cho- I chose Alien. We both chose Alien. Yeah, because um, Predator, it seems to me like it just seems like it's such a bottle thing. You know, like, oh, we're just going to have, because now the thing is going to be, we're going to have a Predator in this time period, a little action adventure thing. That's it. Aliens, at least, is kind of. Trying to do something and build something with the with the Covenant, Romulus, Prometheus, that kind of thing. All right, I'm I'm interested on in the breakdown of the voter thing though. How many how many for predators? How many? Uh, alien? It, it varies. Oh, I can check. I can check. It varies between all of them. There's some of them that only got like ten votes, and other ones that got like three hundred. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm checking. I'm asking. I don't know for that specific uh, one. Checking. I was thinking about doing that, but I figured eh, who's going to care about that? I mean, you've uh, done Sean. a great job so far. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So, Alien and Predator. Yeah. Neck and neck, or was it a landslide? Hold on. No, it's actually, yeah, Aliens kind of got beaten down by it from what I remember. Uh, 36 votes, 64% predator. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not too far. That's only a 12, 14 point margin. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, moving on to our next one. So we got. The yeah. next bracket is Toy Story versus Shrek. Okay, so. All right, Toy Story versus Shrek. All right. What do we think? What do we think, boys? All right, so. This is a tough one. Toy Story. I watched three last night, cried my eyes out because that last scene, even starting with Andy's mom in his room, I was like, fuck. She's like, oh, I always want to be with you. I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, it's like, it just keeps going. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> For me, it, it's when the dog comes in and you see oh, how much he the, ate. Oh, the little wiener dog? Yeah, facts. Big oh. fat sausage. He's, big fat he's sausage. a sausage. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh, no, we're all getting older. Yes. Oh my god, it was all right. Well, let's go back to the first one. First one. The first one is like a classic story. Yeah. It's like just, just so good for a lot of reasons that I'm trying to think of right now. Hold on. I think I, have, I, I think actual, I like I Toy Story 2 better. Call, uh, call me a loser. I think I like Toy Story number two, 2 better. Is very good. Uh hold on, I gotta find my notes. Toy Story 2 is good. I, know I mean the villain. Ah, come on. Yeah, exactly. Danny Elfman's score in every single one of them. Banger. Every single time. I mean, you, you got a friend music, in me. You got no, yeah. well that's that's Randy Newman. Um, but yes, um, <laughs> then there's, uh, you are a toy. It's like, it's so quotable. Like the first one is just so quotable and in so many go ways. To Pizza <laughs> uh, and three and the four, won best animated feature of the Oscars, Toy Story three and four. They won best director, the best animated feature. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> one, two, <did> not. <laughs> that's surprising. Interesting. I don't think they had animated back then though. Uh, I think the only one that, and only Bad one is Toy Story Four. Yep, I agree. I was gonna say I, I don't remember Toy Story. Toy Story Four. Yeah, I tried. I watched it. it. I tried it's to watch it three right. times. It's it's not great, but like it's got a good ending. I guess it's like the end of Woody's story. It, and they pass it on to the little girl, right? That's how. Well, it they is. did that in the That's first three. one. That's three. Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie. So so f- so four. You see them with Bonnie. So on a road trip. So you see the uh, Andy's toys playing with Bonnie's toys. Also, uh, the the little you Orky. see. Yeah, there's Forky. I mean, there's a great uh, oh, number right, of notable Forky's characters. Too. There's Bo Peep who comes back who was previously lost. Bo Peep was not in Toy Story 3 because she was lost. Wait, we're not talking about the best part of uh, the fourth one. Well, I'm not done. Keanu Reeves. What? Who does he play? He plays the motorcycle guy. Yeah, he plays the motorcycle Oh, Duke Duke, Duke, uh, Duke Boom. Boom, yeah. <laughs> and the, the freaking uh, the marionette pup, or they're not marionettes, but the puppets. Uh, what's the little girl's name? Like the to- the little doll. Oh, I forget. Um, I don't remember. It's like a like a pretty doll, and then she's like, 
get him, Butch. And it's like, uh, <laughs> they're like big, like lurchy looking guys. Um, but that was like the best part of the movie. <laughs> I actually don't remember any of that. <laughs> really? Then there's like the uh, like RC about, comes like, oh, back. Come back now. <laughs> RC comes back. I just they remember like, like, like a rat on RC. RC. Mean, like trash? <laughs> trash? No trash. <laughs> All right. Moving on to Shrek. That's the thing so, about body. All right. Shrek right. one and two are fucking amazing. Damn, it's just bangers. coming and Get they don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. Um, it's uh, the first was like it's time a story of like true love with a like a medieval twist on it. It's it's. Great and Cinderella. Is, yeah, mm. honestly, it's literally Cinderella. Ob- objectively, and I know we're not. I know we're supposed to be objective, but unobjectively, uh, my friend group like goes nuts for Shrek. Like we just threw my buddy a thirtieth uh, birthday party, Shrek themed. Mm-hmm. Like whenever he gets the aux cord, it's the it's like Alexa, play Shrek one soundtrack. <laughs> like any chance, uh, touch tunes, Shrek one soundtrack. I mean, it's like, a great soundtrack. Sh- Shrek one and two, really all of them are phenomenal soundtracks. Yeah. yeah, and the villain, I mean, Lord Fuckwad in the first one, he's he's all right, but charming and Godmother in the second one. Oh my god, so good. I, um, I might have a bad opinion here. I don't know. The second one is my favorite. It By is. far. It's, it's, great. So it's really great. Oh, Shrek 2? Yeah, 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 sure. Amazing. But yeah. then let's talk about 3 and 4. Mm. 3 is okay. 3 is still pretty good. Three Merlin four. was great. I no. like Merlin. The kid. You lose me. The kid, I didn't know it was Justin Timberlake when I watched it the first yeah. time. Oh, I, I, like, I rewatched it for the podcast, and I was just like, oh my god. Is Merlin? So weird. And Merlin's the kid, right? N- no. Merlin's or is that like the, the wizard? The, wi- the okay, wizard okay. that doesn't wear pants. And 4 is just kind of, it's like a time... It's like a time, Four, I don't even know what story. that movie is. So it's a timeline it's just... story where Shrek is kind of tired of you know being a dad, wants to go back to being an ogre, and like he just yeah, it, it just rehashes kind of the first thing. No, thank he, you. It's not good. Uh, Puss in Boots, the Last say. Wish. Puss in Boots. Yeah. Holy oh, I forgot. Shit. Oh my god, I forgot about those movies. <laughs> yeah. So Puss in Boots, not a great movie. Last Wish though. What that the is, fuck? They they uh, I've upped their game yeah. so much with that movie, but. I mean, not to argue semantics, but wh- I mean that's not a Shrek movie. That's a spinoff. Well, I mean, but it's, it's part of the universe. Part of the universe. Though. It's the, the canon. These universe. are franchises. Is, does Shrek ever make? I haven't seen them, but does no. Shrek make an appearance? I think the first one he might, but I don't. I remember. think he's in the background. I forget. He's not in the second one though. Mm. But they still do the whole storybook intro thing. Ah! That whole oh, we're out of time. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't really have much else to say, so um, I'm actually this torn. Is hard. On this one. I'm very torn. On uh, this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna go a uh, slight advantage. Toy Story. Uh, just because, like, like it comes down to Toy Story one and two versus Shrek one and two. That's what it comes down to. I I didn't say Toy Story three. It's so it's so good. A, and I agreed. I I think the collection after like one and two, sh- like Shrek one and two, stalemate. The the rest of the collection, I'm gonna give it to Toy Story. I I, I guess I haven't seen the Puss in Boots Last Wish, but I also haven't seen all the other garbage movies. See, the, so the problem is there's more Shrek movies than there are Toy it, Story. That is the problem. But I think objectively, since Toy Story has won two Oscars for Best Animated Feature, I'm going to have to go to Toy Story as well. Yeah, but did Shrek win? No. Shrek, I don't think it's won. Toy Story won the fan vote. I'm going to... Ch- mm-hmm. No, he's talking about Oscars. I'm looking Yeah, for. I'm talking about the Oscars. Wow. I think Toy Story is a better franchise. I think the Shrek movies are more... Fun. Hey, Shrek one mm. good, like, good I, thing we're Shrek talking best movie. franchise here. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, if, I, if someone's like, oh, would you rather watch Toy Story or Shrek? This weekend, like, I'd be like, I'd rather yeah. watch all the Shrek movies. So Shrek I know what you, one, where you're like, like would you like if someone asked you like, I would like, Shrek would you rather not. watch an individual movie? Yeah, Shrek, Shrek definitely, Shrek, Shrek, but as a whole, as a whole I think Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story's Toy Boots win? win? I think it was nominated. I don't think it won though. Uh, I think Last Wish won something. I don't think it won Best Animated though. Um, I mean, that's the Oscars. I either way, Toy Story wins. I think it was nominated. Yeah, okay. Toy Story. So only Shrek only won once. Um. I'm, I'm still good at Toy Story because that was like the you know like not your dad's not your mom's I, franchise you know. All Dude, right, the sad roar. All right, roar. <sighs> next one. Up next we have Jaws versus Rocky. <laughs> Such a weird. Here we fuck this. Is Yo, so the silly. fans. What? <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> the best. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no. This one was such an easy slam dunk for me for Rocky. Like you're wrong. One through four. I mean, we're talking franchises, great. bro. We're talking franchises. Does, has anyone heard of Jaws two, three, four? I've anyone? heard how bad they are. Yeah, uh, I exactly. heard Jaws the Revenge. Me. Like Michael Caine. Like Jaws the Revenge. The plot for that movie is the best. What though. is it? It's, it's literally <laughs> like the. I think it's like uh, the son, son of the show. Son of Jaws 
goes and hunts down Brody for killing his dad. It's not even Brody; it's his family. Yeah, like his, his extended family. I was, was going to say, is he like, <laughs> like he would be like what? seventy it's or so some dumb. shit? <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's so good. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know. See, we're talking about a dumb movie franchise, and then we're talking about Rocky. <laughs> yeah, like, but also Rocky does have its clunkers. Like Rocky. Rocky what, Five three, is not Rocky great. Rocky Balboa and Rocky Five. You don't like Rocky Balboa? I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's Conquer. Um, what? I mean, it's, it's better than Rocky Five. That's that's the okay. thing. It, it came off of Rocky Five, yeah, and it was like Rocky Five fucking but sucked. It's got the best it. quote out of all of them in that. It doesn't matter what you get hit, you know. I, uh, that see, whole speech. That's the I only mean, time it's said in the whole franchise. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's when he says. Are you serious? It. And I have. Wow, it's I was fucking amazing. I didn't know that it wasn't said anywhere else. Yeah. And uh, you know the other best line: "If he dies, he dies." <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what's your what's the one he says? Now how many? How hard you get hit? But it's how many? How, um, yeah, time you, you get, keep moving yeah. forward. Yeah, you know, he's yelling at his son. Are you sure that's not mentioned anywhere else in a different Almost variation? Positive. The you other know. one, the other okay. main line from the other ones. Oh, well, of course. I did it. Cut me, Mick. Adrian. You know, you gotta cut me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what, what are some iconic lines there from, is no from Jaws two? Like <laughs> and jaw, or even jaws. Uh, the uh, kind of lines are hey, hey, someone getting eaten, going. Ah! Okay, <laughs> <So> twenty nine <laughs> kids go into the water. Oh, yeah. Twenty seven come out. <laughs> the ice cream man get the rest of them. <laughs> that's, that's Obviously, the Rocky is the more quotable movie, but movie franchise. <laughs> um, and then there's the Creed movies as well. Creed one, yeah, two it's like bangers. It's like just for good measure. Yeah. Like I, I honestly don't know why we're wasting our breath. What on was this. everyone thinking with Jaws? Honestly, right. <laughs> Jaws one is just, great. Just go down the. That's the, it. The the movie Jaws. The first one is so yeah, iconic, I, I, it just oh, crushes yeah. the, uh, <laughs> Rocky with the weight. You don't need the other Joe, one. Joe, keep defending Jaws, because you got to you you've seen Rock, there. You've um, seen Rocky uh, under pressure. You've so seen The Rock. You've got to love it. the second one. I think it's the second one. My main brain's a little fuzzy. Okay. But when the shark dies, because it's amazing, because he just bites onto the power lines, and then, you know, that... <laughs> Translated to the ride that they made later at Universal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fun. Yeah. And then you got the third one, which I don't remember anything that happened in the third one, but there was some. 3D, cool, cool, Joe. There was Jaws <laughs> 3D. When the, when the shark <laughs> comes in. Which back to the future. So I'm, I'm just trying to like spool and bullshit here, but like it is a really great franchise for what it is. It was, you know, it's of its time. It's, you know, the back you. then, like, you know, you had the big hit movie and then you made the sequels and you give them yeah. less money, less All money, right. less yeah. money. Dude, a franchise but, yeah. did it better than Jaws. Sharknado. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's you're flying. <laughs> All right. All right, so it's clearly I, Rocky, it's clearly right? clearly Rocky. Like, I think we can stop the timer. Okay. Um, Wait, no, we still have 90 seconds. Joe, give us more facts. Uh, <laughs> Joe, Joe uh, and I, uh, uh, <laughs> I think Joe's struggling. The only thing point. I remember about Jaws 3D is like when they're like to show off the 3D, they have the shark like slowly like moving towards the screen. Had to. And then it doesn't like react, but then like uh, the, the glass breaks. And it just like it doesn't like move back or anything. It just keeps moving forward a little. Like it doesn't look like it <laughs> yeah. actually hit it. It just yeah. looks so stupid. Um, I wanted to look up the Jaws and Rocky thing on our YouTube, um, see how many votes it had. Dude, it got obliterated. Yeah, but like, I want to see how many votes it actually had. I um, feel like people in the comments were like, we can make this a meme. Let's go. <laughs> guys, let's, let's piss these guys off. What the hell is it? They, they saw the Dark Knight you, Goodfellas you, episode, they're like, and they're like, is we can line? have another. Yeah, yeah. That's when the bracket starts. Let's make oh, fun oh, of them in the comments. Only 12 votes. Okay. So oh, yeah, okay. 12 votes, it was 58% to 42%. Jaws. Okay, I th oh, from I, what I remember, so okay. that one didn't okay. go. Okay. They must have added more. And that mm. that one wasn't big dumb idiots. All right, <laughs> still wrong. All right, so moving on to our next one, Gabs. Up next, we have Halloween versus A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun one. All right, so this is when my uh, objectivity has to come into play. <laughs> um, I realize Halloween is not a good franchise. <laughs> It's just so well, fucking. I like it as it goes on. Polluted. I like no. the later ones. Like the, the beginning ones are awful. But as the franchise zombie. gets goes on, it gets better in my opinion. Game. The second yeah. Rob Zombie, absolute clunker. Um, well, he didn't yeah. because he talks. He's yeah. not supposed to talk. <laughs> Die! He gets shot. <laughs> no. I hate. I hate Halloween too. So oh, much. And then there's um the the new franchise. The first one, 2018, was so fucking. I get them good. all mixed up because there were so many fucking reboots. There's well, five was, different timelines. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get them all mixed up. Uh, fucking, yeah, they, they tried to go in so many different directions. Uh, this like, is the one with Danny Trejo, right? No, the 2018 well, the, one was 22, the, the Rob Zombie one does have Danny Trejo in it. Yeah, yeah as his like uh, his like ward or whatever. He's like, yeah, come on, he's Michael. The janitor. Come on, Michael. It's yeah. all right, Michael. Yeah. Whoa, TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he freaking kills Danny Trejo, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he drowns yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh or he, dr- he, he like fucking tortures, drowns him, and then crushes him with a TV. Jeez. When that's the dude that treated you all right. Exactly. <laughs> but he's a kid. He's still a kid in a man's body. That's kind of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know any better. I mean, the first one, obviously, classic. One of, I think my, my favorite horror movie of all time. Uh, Halloween 2... Mm, okay, it's like it's no. not great, but it's still it's still okay. Witch. Season of the Witch, uh, I I like it Loved for what it. it is. It's it's if going into it knowing it's not a, exactly. a Halloween, yep. you know. Yep. Uh, I can't say anything. I only like the first one. <laughs> yeah, I have a soft spot for four. Five is bad. Six is absolute trash. H two O, we got there again. You know, we were at the heights again, and then uh, Resurrection is just fucking. Uh, yeah, that's uh, H2O was a good return to form. Yeah. Like, there's that one shot where, like, Jamie's like, uh, or uh, Lori turns around and she's like, oh, you go, son and girlfriend. You go be safe. I'm going to go kill Michael. And then it's like this really cool crane shot where she's like holding the axe. She's like, Michael, Michael! where are you? <laughs> and it starts playing the music and stuff. Oh, and gets my adrenaline pumping every mm. time. And then they behead him at the end. Like, it's like, it's over, guys. Fuck you. Unless. And then there's like, well, technically it was the paramedic that was wearing the mask. Um, he, Michael Myers is still alive, actually. <laughs> yeah. right, let, let, let's move on to Nightmare. Um, Nightmare on the Street. Uh, first meh, one's great. Meh. First one is great. The first one, the freaking when he gets ripped into the bed and the blood starts fucking yeah. shooting up. Dude, it's when like, yeah. kill Johnny Depp. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Of, of the remake? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That was the original, I believe. Is one oh, one, they, right? did it, they did in the remake then, too. Yeah, when she, where Nancy gets dragged to the window, I'm pretty sure, of the door. Dragged to the window. Isn't that what it was? I or, think you're thinking of Phantasm. No, no, there's something else. Ooh, dang, that's Shout out to my Phantasm fans. I haven't watched the first Nightmare in a long time, so maybe that was the remake. I don't know. I mean, it happened. Uh, where she gets dragged into the mirror, the door, the, the doorway. Door? It happened in Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. at the very end. Is of, that the doorway yeah. or is that a Yeah, the Ronnie... What's her face? Um, they pull her through like this little tiny window, but it's clearly yeah, a, thought, clearly okay. a manic or a doll or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I wasn't wrong. All and, right. And then they do it again in the remake. At the very end, they pull. Uh, yeah, they, but he does like through like the mirror. Through the mirror. Yep. And, yeah. Like, that was nuts. To the eyes. Yeah. Um. Freddy's two, great. Two. Fred. <laughs> I didn't realize how like homoerotic it was when I first saw it. It's yeah. very gay. It's a very gay movie. Nice, nice. Um, and even like the guys making, because I watched this documentary, Never Sleep Again. I've seen it like four or five times. They're just, it's just so, it's a really good documentary. Check it out. Um, but they're like, even when they were making it, they're like, I, I had no idea, you know? Because like, it's so clear that like, you know, the guy is a damsel in distress and the girl is like the, like the big badass action That hero. rescues him? Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Like, and uh, hey, Freddy's trying to get inside of him, mm, uh, mm. and he oh, meets his. Oh. He, he sees he, he sleepwalks, and he goes to an S and M bar, and oh. his coach is there. And then he's and then he dies by whipping. Mm. You know, wow, Joe. You said this is a <laughs> nightmare too. Yeah, I gotta put that on my list. Yeah, right. <laughs> three, three. I think is definitely the best one because it. it Goes, it's like yeah. it's all about teen suicide. It's got like a, th- it's got a message. It's got like a, like a, a narrative that it's going for. Uh, and- also, we, I was talking uh, with my spouse last night about because we watched the remake Nightmare, and she was saying that, you know, take all the classic horror movies, even like uh, um, Friday the Thirteenth. It's it's almost like a part one and a part two. Like the story isn't finished with the first one. You know, like also the first one. I hate the. <clears throat> Come on, get him, mommy. Get her, mommy. Oh, yeah. I'll get it, kill Michael. Her. Kill her, kill her. And I'm like, shut up. Oh my god, that <laughs> was so. That ruined almost the whole movie for me. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll, we'll get you. but but part one and two, like look at Nightmare on Elm Street. You you don't get the full story of Freddy's background. You know that he was like a molester and all this stuff. Yeah, you, you don't. don't until- you don't get that until the second one. All right. Yeah. So we have talked enough about these two. Um, I actually didn't say much about Nightmare, but I th- I th- think Nightmare on Street's the more the, the the better, more quality franchise. You know. I mean, maybe. Uh, this is a tough one. I don't Halloween know. won't die; it just keeps coming back. But like, it'll be it'll start at a good place, and then it'll just fucking go be to the, the worst thing ever. So, when they yeah. did the remakes, like the newest ones, I was like, okay, the first one was good, second one was good, and the third one, the only thing I thought was good was when the kid falls from like the thing and smashes on the ground. I was like, yes, they killed the child. <laughs> and then yeah, that, was that was fucking yeah. dope. Oh my god, it was a great uh, start. But then, yeah, like it's his going out party, and they make him not the main killer. What? <laughs> Yeah, they were, thinking. Be, they were trying to do like a new generation thing. I get it. I get it. But yeah. it's just like, don't. Just leave it the way it is. Just 
And yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to pick, dude. I, I really I, don't know. I don't know. Fact is, Halloween is, well, let's see, is, a has its one, the good family. moments, but it has a shit ton of bad ones. If we're talking franchise, I have to vote for Nightmare. Um, Nightmare. Me too. Because Halloween's just so convoluted. It's all over the place. It's not... Yeah. As a franchise, it's not a good franchise. At least Nightmare is consistent. Yeah, Nightmare's consistent. Yeah. Except right. for the dream I, child. What was so that? Well, let's, we know let's, that? Exactly my point. <laughs> what is that? Uh, and then Freddy's, or, uh, Freddy's Dead. That one is... Straight up bad. Although there's a really cool death scene with um, I think his name's Carlos, um, where he's deaf, mm-hmm. and he has like a, he puts the yeah, hearing aids on, or like he like makes him like super supersonic, mm-hmm. and so even like you know just like a pin dropping will mm-hmm. blow his head up. All it's right. real cool. Oh, with the Q-tip. You ever see that? Oh, it's, no. It was fucking great. But okay. All right. Moving on to the next round, we have Indiana Jones versus Mad Max. This is such a weird combo, too. But I, like, uh, the, the, so the category was, um, let's see. I, called, I think I called it uh, Adventure Movie. Or no. Oh, oh. Where is it? Well, no. RPG? Indiana Jones Adventure. Yeah, Adventure Movie. And then oh, Mad I, Max is Vehicle Movie. I have it. Oh, I have it wrong on this raw data. Because it's Indiana Jones versus Pirates of Caribbean yeah. on that. Okay. Well. Oh well, that's not the way it main, went. Uh, the action star, uh, deserts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Mad Max. I can really only think of one movie that's good. Beyond Thunderdome, Fury no. Road. Fury Road. No, I mean Fury Mad Road Max. Is really good. Do you like the two? Oh, like the first Mad Max? I will admit, I'm a big. I, I I like all the Mad Max movies. I'm weird. I like them all. The Ma- first Mad Max. It's not very good. Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't no, know. It's what awful. I, it's I awful. like the villain in it. I, I like the way they kill him at the end, and I love I love the uh, fun fact about that movie. They they had a, such a low budget. All the villains in the movie, all the motorcycle people, they paid with beer. <laughs> <laughs> they, they That's could, the they most just, Australian thing to do ever. <laughs> they didn't have any money to get pay them, so they're just like they met a motorcycle game. They're like, we'll give you cases of beer if you do this. <laughs> and then the scene where they ram the motorcycle into the truck. They gave that truck driver, they just met him somewhere at like a truck stop, <laughs> and they're like, we'll give you like multiple cases of beer if you just let us ram into your truck. And he goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even pay for the damages? Like, so, perfect. like the first movie was so low budget, it shouldn't have the success it did. So yeah. I give it credit for that. Yeah. But then the second one was when they started getting good. Yes. And the third one is where like Falls the apart. original one, no. you know, we're good. Thunderdome. Thunderdome. And then, you know, you got the boomerang kid and then the little... Master Blaster. Master Blaster. Master Master Blaster. Blaster. Blaster's great. One man enter, or two man enter, one man leaves. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Bro, come on. Yeah. Thunderdome is the best. And then the Fury Road is fucking sick. Dude, like, I can't... The best. Like, okay, it's just like... Maybe it's because I, maybe I'm, I came into this franchise the wrong way. I saw Fury Road same. first. I was the same way. Then yeah. I'm like, well, oh, I'll go back and watch Road Warrior. Everyone says that's get great. Some I could not get through that fucking movie, dude. <laughs> it's. It, wait, I can't believe that, how bad it back. is. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. It's. I can't describe. It's just. It's just bad. Like Fury Road. No, no, no. no. Uh, Road Warrior. Oh, the oh, second yeah. one. The second one. No, no, the one that no. everyone said, "Oh, this movie's fucking amazing!" Right before Fury Road came out, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, have you seen Fury Road? It's fucking great. So I think, to me, Mad Max, the only movie in that franchise is Fury Road, and there's no competition. Are we can, uh, are, do we have Furiosa in here? I know it just came out. Furiosa I haven't seen is it. actually our next movie I think we're doing on the yep. podcast. Okay. Um, so Because I haven't seen see it, it yet, but I've heard that it's phenomenal. Yeah, but yeah. we can't base our opinions off hearings. Yeah, it's true. Not admissible in but court, what, Joe. What, what has come out so far? Amazing. I don't even remember what the other movie we're that, supposed to be talking about. Anymore. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones time. So, <laughs> okay. one, two, three, absolute bangers. Yep. Every single I love, time. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. I mean, even Temple. Temple has issues, but it's still really cool to see. Um, one thing. George Lucas. Steven Spielberg. See John later. Williams. Oh, shoot. John Williams, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there. the combination. Is yeah, that's a trio right here. Yeah, like, that's that started everything. That started yeah. everything. And it kill, almost killed the franchise. And yeah. then they and made, made the fifth one. one. They made, and then they definitely should have killed, killed it. the franchise. <laughs> so I have my problems with four and five. Uh, four, I watched again recently, and I didn't have as much of a problem with it as previously. Um, like, it was fine. It was a little worse than Temple of Doom. Shia LaBeouf ain't, ain't bad in that. Yeah, he, he I don't almost think saves he's it. Bad. I don't think he's bad. I, looking Not as back, bad as everyone says he is. Yeah, he almost saves it. Looking back it. in the 15 years or so since it came out, I mean, it's it's not as bad as everyone says it is. Five is as bad as everyone says it is. <laughs> I, I remember I walked in on my family watching movie, so I didn't fully watch the be- – I missed like the first 30 minutes of the film, so I can't Which even one? talk Four about it. Four or five? Five. Okay. And I remember watching it high as shit. 
And like I remember Sounds the scene right. where the the plane goes back in time, and I was sitting there and I was just watching it, and like my family's like, "What's happening?" You know, because they all talked during the movie. I just went, "Is that a Roman trireme?" Before they said it in the movie, like as they're flying the plane over, I'm like, "No, don't do this, no." And they're like, "What's about to happen?" Uh, and I was just like, "Just wait." And the the movie's like, "Oh my god, it's a Roman trireme!" Oh my god, we went back in time, and I was like, "Holy fuck." Um, so what I think I'm going to say in these last 30 seconds, Indiana Jones has won a lot more Oscars. It has the more prestige of the two franchises. And yeah. that's why I think I got to say it's Indiana Jones. The last two are shit, but you know, it's still, it's the still first, was nominated the trilogy is John Williams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Mad Max is only Fury Road to me. Honestly, so far. I yeah. mean, ev- even, you know, like I really love Thunderdome and I, I almost really like um, Road Warrior. But uh, they're they're ah. not they're not better than Temple of Doom. Mm-hmm. I will have to say, you know, I know we're at time, but um, yes, sir, as I up. also <laughs> love all the Mad Max films, those three films are just each. If you just had each one of those being its own independent film, they'd still be great films. Mm. No. Oh <laughs> no. No. <laughs> all right. So, what is the consensus here? So I said Indiana Jones. Indy. I'm in Indy. Indy. So it's Indy. I gotta go with Indy too. All right. Sorry, Sorry so fans. Four Dr. Jones. Dr. I, did put up, I put up a fight for Mad Max. Wow. I did, but you know, it's where is it? Is what it is. There yeah, it is. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Get what, what's the next one? Up next, Die Hard versus Born. Oh. So I rewatched the Borns recently. I the first time I started Identity recently. I was probably not in the right mood to watch it, so I had to stop it after like 20 minutes because like I can't do this. That's fair. That's and fair. then I started it again, and I was like, "Oh fuck, this is it!" Like just the way the action moves in that movie and the way the editing is, it just it hits like a 90s action movie, like it is. But like that's what I think of when I see an, a 90s action movie. That and um, uh, what's the bus movie? Uh, Speed. 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 Those are the two I think of when I hear interesting movies. Interesting. Besides Die Hard. <sighs> yeah, but, I mean, talk to me about Die Hard. Tell me how much you love Die Hard then. Die Hard? Uh, the Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you had to say. Die Hard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, Die Hard 1's great. Like, Die Hard 2. Die Hard 2's. Die Hard with a Vengeance? Okay. Mm. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I, I like that one a lot. The and, third one. And then, and then the next one? Yeah. Uh, Live for your Die Hard. I think it's the fourth one, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then there's a fifth one. And there's. Uh, we well, don't. A good, day, a good Day to Die Hard. A good Day oh, to Die Hard. Like, come I on. Saw, I never no. saw like, that. Come on. Yeah, exactly. No one did. <laughs> no. no one did. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah. when Bruce Willis just started doing whatever would give him a paycheck. Exactly. And he looks he like all shriveled up, dude. Yeah. He's got no neck anymore. Oh, <laughs> don't, 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 <laughs> actually, don't talk bad yeah. about my man. I guess I retract <laughs> that. <laughs> Save a few laughs. I retract that. My man is suffering from a disease. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, but uh, Born's Supremacy, it's still yep. a banger. Born was all right. Movies, the fucking car chase scene. Fucking bangers. Born, it, was, it wasn't as good as you made. Shit. I yeah, had never right, seen. Right. I had never seen any of the Born movies until so recently. Good. For I only saw Born Identity. Like I said, I was supposed to but, watch the second one, but I th- changed my plans. Yeah, this franchise is what made Matt Damon into the actor he is. Oh, Matt Matt Damon. See, but the thing is, we can't forget. We can't forget. Um, what's it called? Uh, Legacy and mm. and Jason Bourne. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those movies. I think I don't think there's anything worse, in, Jason, or like a bigger uh, fall from grace. You don't. Than, you don't think a Good Day to Die Hard is a bigger fall from grace? Unfortunately, okay, I never saw. But that was gradual, though. It was like ultimatum, legacy. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> let's get Jerry Renner yeah, to replace. It's, it's, <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Dude, it's, uh, it's funny you mentioned Jeremy Renner uh, because he also appears in another action-packed yeah, franchise that's going to be mentioned soon. <laughs> <laughs> also supposed to be a replacement, but wasn't. Yeah, it, right. Exactly. <laughs> my, exactly what I'm getting on here. Yeah. Uh, for me, poor guy. How much time we got? They try to sell him as you a man, man. And s- yeah, he's just he doesn't he's have it. Guy. I, I yeah. think the side guy, and you should say the side guy. I think yeah. Die Hard should never have been a franchise. Uh, I no, think you're because cool, they didn't know what it what it wanted, like what they, to do. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun holiday Maybe. terrorist movie. It was great. It shouldn't have yeah. been spun off. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Close the book. That was a spec script um, called Simon Says. And they yeah. just made it a Die Hard movie. Oh yeah. Movie. So there's like we have no no ideas what this thing is. Born was like this is what's gonna happen. It's a, it's a full this story. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Start to finish. And then they're just like, let's do some extra bullshit at the end. But bro, the pen, the pen scene, the fucking pen scene. (laughs) My God. Oh, it's so crazy. So good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going born. He he and fucks up people in that movie. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry. We got gonna, a minute. I'm also gonna we go got born. a minute left, but we don't need yeah. yeah. to. I gotta go born too. Honestly, the thing about Jason Bourne, like that movie, though, like uh, who am I? I? Remember the trailer. The trailer grabbed me because there's this one shot. It's like, who is he? And he's like, and then you just see like this really quick like like punch to this guy in like a desert. He's in like a fit like a cage match fist fight, and it's just like it's perfect angle because like the guy falls. Um, so he's he's being blocked. Like Jason Bourne's being blocked by the guy that he's punching. Punches him, he falls, and then you get this big hero shot right oh, in the trailer. To be they don't Wick? use that awesome shot in the actual movie. Bro, they have I some stupid that. other angle. I'm like, wow, you guys Bro. fucked it up. Bro, is he that. trying to be fucking John Wick? <laughs> yeah. John, like, is that what we were he was John Wick before yeah. John Wick. John Wick is trying yeah. to be yeah. Jason yeah. Bourne. Yeah. 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 John Wick's doing a better job, not going to lie. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. well, maybe we'll get It'll to get that. Get a chance. Chance. Also, Bourne. It's a Bourne. Look what they make you give. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so I think Bourne is going to win this one. Yeah, and fans well, the, also the pre- fans picked Bourne too. So good. Glad we're on the same page there. Yeah. All right, Gavatron. Okay, here we go. Next one we got Star Wars versus Middle Earth. Here we fucking go. <laughs> this is probably going to be the hardest one. Uh, so I've well, I've, not hard for me. But. I've been like uh, promoting your podcast um, because you promote mine. Main Men Podcast. Uh, and, and, and the social media we use? Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't have just a Joe. podcast anymore. So I've, I've been telling all of my friends, like, oh, I'm going to be on my friend's podcast. We're, we're doing a movie franchise bracket. And I was like, listen, what's in Ron Ron? And I was like, Tolkien versus Star Wars. And they're like, what? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. He's like, how are you doing that like round one? Like, what are you guys doing? And I told him, I was like, honestly, I think this is the best matchup. Like, what? What? If anything, could, I mean, obviously, un- unobjectively, Star Wars is the fucking greatest thing ever. <laughs> Objectively, Star Wars still might be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> All right, so, let's, talk, let's talk about these movies. Let's uh, start from let's one. Not, not A New Hope. Let's start from Phantom Menace, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, so, amazing. <laughs> fuck you. Amazing. I thought it was Solo. <laughs> still fuck you, but... <laughs> Dude, like, what can, you, what can be said about Duel of Fates, Phantom Menace, Jar Jar Banks? Awesome. D- Darth Maul. He's the only, he, there's like five people on the pa- planet that are like, Jar Jar Pink is a shit. I think Jar Jar has had a resurgence lately of like, well, cause, cause, in, in retrospect. John, can I like, also oh, just say God. real quick, I feel like if you were like 30 years older when Phantom Menace came out, you'd be that dude in uh, Fanboys, the movie about the Star Wars yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. going, Jar Jar Binks, he's got the full Jar Jar Binks tattoo. <laughs> he's going to be the shit. <laughs> in Lord fact, that mercy. was me. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he's got a tattoo. <laughs> All right. Uh, Attack of the Clones. One, Amazing. One good scene. Okay. So, what? What? Stop. What no, are you no, talking no. about? I, I'm, 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 I'm going to eventually argue for Lord of the Rings, but uh, <laughs> I, I got to say that it's a good movie. It's Bro, a good movie. Jango Fett, the one Come of the on. greatest characters Come in on. Star Wars. Everything that happens yeah, on Genosis is great. <laughs> in the Coliseum. The, everything about Genosis <laughs> is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the bad motherfucker lighting his purple blade. It's cool. Come on. So, I mean, stop. Yes, I know. Mace Windu, you know. It just no, takes everything. a long time to get there. What do you mean yeah. it takes a long time it to get there? It takes a long time it to get really there. It really does. It's slow. We got it's a long way to go. It's it's short time to get there. Can, can we just say, I, I'm going to say, if you watch Dune and watch that today, yep. that's so much more accepting of it just being about politics. Then mm-hmm. this movie was just like, oh, it's all about Bro, politics. Dune is like three and a half hours. Three and a half hours of nothing about politics. If you compare I, the two Attack now, of I, have like two I, have an, I have a theory as to why the politics was so like not accepted when The Phantom Menace came out. It's just because Star Wars wasn't that before. Uh, yeah, the, like, like, it was like it wasn't. this little tiny, like, we're except, friends and we take down an empire except game. Except it was literally the direct creation of the creator of Star Wars. So I, I disagree. I think all of the hate on the prequel trilogy is just those, and I know they're my brethren, but like it's the Star Wars purists that are like, a new hope, Empire Strikes yeah. Back. Like you know, sometimes, like, get over yourself. I'm sorry, but like one, two, three, we're awesome. Sometimes I think about like, uh, <laughs> am, am I just like one of those like Star Wars purists when it comes to like the sequel trilogy? Because I'm, I'm not a big fan of the sequel trilogy. No, yeah. I yeah, but, no, but yeah, I, I love yes. the prequels <laughs> and because I can see what they're going for, and I love the original trilogy, obviously, because it's one of the best trilogies of all time. I will agree. Um, all right, now it's time for me to come yeah, in and Lord crush yeah. everything. Let's do so, it. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Fucking amazing franchise. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. Won 11 Oscars. Amazing. Everyone, like, pick a character you don't like in Lord of the Rings. Uh, Arwen. 
Mm, oh, because <laughs> she's fucking Liv Tyler's so cringy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, like, good answer. And she's she nothing fucking but breathy voice. They have nothing for her to do in I, the next two movies. I will say for a movie that doesn't have any blood in it. Holy shit! Is the action action? Yeah, which, which one? Yeah, down which the one's trunk. that? There's oh no my god! Dude. Oh, oh, down the you, trunk. Oh. Fucking the bell comes was, She's in an extended cut. I, I, I never, I never thought there was no blood in the movie. I never. No, even, there's no blood. Yeah. Yeah. I never See, realized that. You didn't even yeah, think you about didn't it. Realize never. How good is the action? If you, you I mean, it's amazing. Like, like I said, if anything can beat the the holy thing that is Star Wars, it would be. Tolkien's work. I mean, He's like a good fucking, points, Joe. just fucking arrows, just chunking through, dude. Oh, hold on. Fucking cut, ch- cleaving people down. Hell, the deep. Hobbit. But yeah, the Hobbit really pairs it down, dude. <laughs> the like, Hobbit. It, I, I, I yeah. rewatched them recently. Okay. And I will say they're not as bad as I remember. I think it's just okay. because the original three were so good, and these just weren't as good. The first they're one was good. The, the first good. one is pretty good. The first but one's pretty the good. Problem, the second one ain't bad, but like the second it, it act of the, the first, second one, in my it opinion. Ran, in my opinion, it ran into the Hunger Games problem where they split it into three movies because they wanted it to be another trilogy. Absolutely. It really make it one. just been two. Absolutely. Like you could split one and two and split them up a little bit, make them a little bit longer each, and it would have been a much better franchise. With the, with the Hobbit, you could have just taken all of the smog stuff from the second movie, yeah. include that in the Hobbit, exactly, and then pick up everything from Lake Town on. They yeah, also the killed him in a really down. weird spot. Smog. And well, like in the oh, first like twenty minutes whoa, of the third movie, that is it. Holy right? smokes! We'll we'll yeah, that was fast. We're gonna keep going anyway. Are we gonna keep going? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I gotta say, like that, he brought up Lake Town. Lake Town doesn't even happen. It, exactly my point. Like, there's like, so, made so much added stuff to... and everything on the the Battle of Five Armies. None of it happened. Yeah, everything afterwards with who's the the twin dwarf who dies. Yeah, no, no, like not all that it. stuff. The love with the love, the love um, thing. What's her name? Didn't happen. What's her name? Uh, the wasp. Yeah. Oh, uh, Evangeline Lilly. A- yeah. Evangeline Lilly. Didn't yeah. happen. She's awesome. But again, all of that, I'm like, we didn't need this. You could have cut out all of this and. I. Okay. But you can say the same thing about Rise of Skywalker. Oh, yeah. Uh, like that, that movie. There's a lot of stuff that, in that. Like, Star Wars definitely has the worst movie As, out of all of I these. I think it's the worst fan base. Do you think? No. Rise of Skywalker? The most toxic fan base. I don't think that's the worst. Out of the two? Oh, out of the Star Wars, toxic. but we can agree that Star toxic Wars has is... the worst movie out of between all of these. Yeah, we right? got yeah. Some yeah, 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 I'd probably say that. Yeah. The thing I, is, I would though, say it's The Last Jedi. I think uh, Last Jedi is the worst mm, of their franchise. No, 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 no. And, I, and I, I hate think... The Last Jedi, don't get me wrong. I think it has something to say, though. Like it's exactly. it's trying to be its own thing. It's trying to do something, and I can commend it for That's what I liked about it, because Star Wars was always this plain story and then this changed it up and that's why yeah. i like it i mean i didn't like the way they treated the characters don't get me wrong just cut this <laughs> camera please <laughs> he, do- he disagrees okay <laughs> which well. like i'm with you though i don't like the last jedi at all that's Jedi's hot garbage on film. <laughs> but yeah, it's really there's Rogue One, dude. And the Solo. casino scene. Yeah, yeah. Get awesome. the fuck out. Of well, see, the whole see I, I'll disagree with you here, Joe. I love the casino scene. I just, oh. Be, you were saying it's something, you know, it, it, it's not Star Wars. Everyone will say it's something new for Star Wars. Great. I love that. Everything else about the movie, there is nothing else. I it's a fucking like, slow space chase yeah, yeah, that like lands, la- I I lands like on Hoth. Yeah. Lands on Hoth for another ATAT <laughs> walk on a shield generator. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. come on. It, yeah. it is okay. Empire's, the, the beginning of Empire Strikes Back rehashed. Uh, I'm I guess, sorry, Ryan Johnson. Wrong. You ruined it. I guess where I'm like, because uh, so like I can I can definitely get behind Lord of the Rings trilogy best trilogy of all time quality wise I'm not a fan of Middle Earth like at all you know yeah. but I can recognize it's it's a passionate uh, trilogy love letter to you know Tolkien's work and everything mm-hmm. even though he probably wouldn't actually like it why do you say that um, I know his son doesn't like the movies yeah well have you do you know anything about son uh, not S- not this- a lot I know that he. He's pretty much uh, anything but the books is bad. Yeah, but I, I would argue that the you could help me out on this maybe. I would argue that the son almost has a different vision than his dad. Uh, from what I've heard, yeah, his dad had a different vision for what the his his son wrote Silmarillion. Be. Yeah, his son wrote Samarillion. Oh, I thought like, he just finished it. Big well, nerd he, he collected. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. If you want to like watch someone, watch Stephen Colbert just go off on it. Oh, yeah. No, he's a like, huge fan. Like him, I watched an interview with him recently where he was interviewing. Uh, uh, I can't think of his name, Aragorn, the actor there. Vigo Mortensen. And Vigo, like as he starts going in talking about like, actor. This, the the like the different levels of the Sam and all the expanded lore, he's just like, 
Oh, you're like a well, we you're like you're a, a nerd. nerd. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, we're getting off topic because yeah. that's not Cimarron is not part of this. Um, yeah. but the the worst of the worst, uh, Last Jedi and Battle of Five Armies. Um, however, the best of the best, uh, Return Empire, of the King Empire. versus yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's just the great. highs are way higher for Star Wars. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know. I agree. That's fine. Uh, all right. Yeah, so. Star Wars is definitely my pick, but like I can definitely recognize there's a lot of flaws. I would all over them. I would have argued. All right, let's let's uh, go around the table here and uh, sure. picks, um, picks, picks, and picks. This actually might be sacrilege for me. But I'm, I think I'm gonna go Middle Earth. What a fucking loser! I, I can just I can just thing. say like it's it's debatable whether whether or not the prequels are good. Um, it's where's de- the debate? There's no de- there's no debate that no debate that the Lord of the Rings is is, is, is the no best debate. trilogy ever, right? I mean, there's a debate there, but Daniel San. Um, <laughs> like it, like the OT has some. I like, like the, you know, Last Jedi or uh, Return of the Jedi. Anyway, Lord of the Rings, the the first trilogy, the original trilogy, is just so fucking good. With like, and it's recognized that it's good too. It won so many Oscars. Like just thinking about it, playing like that, is the, most like, the most Oscar wins Oscar ever wins for Return ever. of the King, and then and nominations. Yep. And Star Wars that comes nowhere close to that. But that's not going to be my whole thing with it. Um, Star Wars is just like, I don't know, man. Like, I think they've muddled There's so the many ups and downs with Star Wars for me. Mm. Like, it's you keep adding the on original it. trilogy. And it, not it's a flat it line. It, actually, no, it's like a whoop. Mm-hmm. And then, then it goes up for the prequels. They get better as they go. And the sequels, it, it goes down. So, like, there's just, like, no consistency with Star Wars, I don't think. And... Lord of the Rings, I think, is just the more consistent franchise. I'm going with Middle Earth. Holy shit. Because I'm going with Middle Earth. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I not even get my piece? You Do can I- have your piece. Great. Thanks. <coughs> Bro, uh, I lost all my train of thought by that. You were not expecting him to okay, say it was so, bad because I was going uh, so, to say Star Wars. So just because it got, yes, it's got the most Oscar wins, but are we saying that only Oscar nominated movies are good? No. Because I'm look not, at all of all of the crap. Well. I'll look at all of the crap Oscar noms. I look at all of the crap Oscar but wins. But you call the Lord of the Rings. At, hold on, I let you speak. Let me get my sp- <laughs> let me get my chance to speak, please. Thank you. <laughs> look at all of the Nos- Oscar movies that were crap and won. Look at all of the great bangers that were never even mentioned mm-hmm. because the Oscars is some fucking mm-hmm. Illum- Illuminati bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so Oscars really don't matter much to me. Okay. Uh, I w- I would have argued we said. Um, we said no extended collections or whatever that jazz. I would have, if you included Rings of Power in like the subsidiaries, I probably would have said uh, Tolkien mm. over Star Wars because, like you said, there's so much inconsistency. Like, you know, look at all of the shows, like at all of the garbage stuff, like at all of the rewrites, the Disney buyout, the non canon, the EU. The like, it's a mess. What, you know? It's a garbage yeah. mess. Yeah. But when you're talking the straight nine movies, that shit is tight. Well, it was also Rogue One and Solo, but even better, even even tighter. the The only problem, in my opinion, to the whole collection is Last Jedi because Ryan Johnson was a complete dumbass and didn't understand <laughs> Star Wars. So, so besides that, I think that shit's tight. You got to look at his, the whole thing, though. That's that's exactly what I just described to you. The entire thing is tight. Mm. The entire thing is tight, bro. It's it's the story of Anakin, the rise and fall of a Skywalker. Okay, mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings, one, two, three, amazing. You're right. Um, the original or the first three Lord of the Rings might be the best trilogy ever. I don't, I don't know, but I'm not going to come on here to say that. I don't uh, even like them, but I just I admit they're but, very but the well Hobbit, made. But The Hobbit was garbage. They didn't even need to make The Hobbit. They made three movies out of one book, yeah. and only one of them was good. All of us just sat here and said only one of them was but good. But is that enough of a dagger to the heart of I Lord mean, of the you Rings just said then, there's more bad movies then, there than there are in Star Wars. There's two bad movies in the, the Lord of the Rings franchise. We're saying we're saying smog and fire. Are you talking like percentage wise or like number? Because like um, Phantom Menace is debatable. Attack of Clones I think is bad. Uh, like Revenge of the Sith, great story. Execution is bad. Uh, New Hope is great. Empire is great. But then Return of the Jedi, like. Eh. But you but you needed all of those movies. You can't. Yeah, no, it tells a complete story. I'm just thinking the quality and consistency of Star Wars is way all, all over the place compared to Middle Earth. <sighs> And I love Star Wars. If this was like my favorite, Star Wars in, in a heartbeat, you know? Hey, man. Uh, I, I, I had my piece. Thank you for listening. It never was going to be five minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you guys ready to move on? <laughs> uh, next one is Scream versus Final Destination. Scream. 
No, just kidding. Wrong. We can't do that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was no, in the slides. No, no, bring up the slides, Gavin. Bring up the slides. <laughs> bring up the slides. <laughs> no, uh, Scream. Should have them here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no slides. <laughs> no, better yet. <laughs> Wait, Gavin, here, show, show it real quick. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, scream movies. Um, just the first one to start out with Drew Barrymore getting murdered. Just great, love iconic, that. love that. iconic, iconic you movie. Like scary. It, the meta nonsense of horror movies that John Carpenter. John Carpenter. That's right. Nah, Wes Craven. Uh, Wes Craven. Fuck. I he did all. Mixed up. He did the first four. Okay. So yeah, Wes Craven is really just kind of making fun of horror movies in these movies, but also making them interesting in a way that had never been done before um so scream scream two uh and which one was three? Oh, i forget which one three it was poopy uh, but they, there's they one start in hollywood get, where they're making the movie oh yeah, never mind we don't talk about that but one. they yeah. start getting good again yeah, with four yeah. and five four, mm -hmm. uh, four is a lot better than i remembered it, it's better than yeah five the new oh my god five was way better than it should have been yeah. <laughs> like yeah. agreed they just killed it and then what's one. and what's uh was there another one yeah six, six i think even improved on new, top of five new york's the new york city one what was it with called though? Uh, scream six scream six was it scream six yeah they, they're still on numbers yeah i thought numbers. it was like the scream yeah. or something um, unfortunately we'll never get no. to see the resolution of that trilogy that's the final but, um, <laughs> why do you say that because well, Melissa Barrett got yeah. canceled um so well it's not canceled she got fired <laughs> she got fired um and then jenna ortega is like i'm too famous now so she's done so, the two so, main characters just gone out so yeah, and the director's left as well. Greed. So, yeah, and then Wes Craven's Greed. dead. And, uh, yep. You know, so, Scream, yeah. but it is coming back. They are doing a seventh one. It's a told new story. Anyway. They're bringing oh, back Kevin Williamson. That's promising. He's the original writer. Um, yeah, and, it all oh, came from him. That's very promising. Yeah. That's yes. very promising. So, and Neff Campbell's back, too. So. And yeah, and Neff, oh my God. We can't forget about Neff Campbell. Neff Campbell, oh yeah. My God. She's probably She's the best so final good. girl ever. You can't forget so about good. her, Joe. Can't forget about her. Nope. Mm-mm. Final <laughs> girls nope. go a long way. <laughs> nope, can't forget her. Yep. All right. Um, final, final destination. That is such a cool concept. Yep. And I love the idea of death coming back. Um, it will be coming back. It's a bit formulaic. Um, what do you mean, what what like do you mean by that? Like it's like you too have a technical? You have the premonition of how every part of, everyone's going to die in order. Got it. Then they survive. Got it. Because one person who gets the premonition survives and then, uh, and then saved and they all psych. die one by one. Yeah. And freak accidents yeah. and stuff. Is my mic okay? I can't hear myself anymore. Yeah, you sound fine. Yeah, you sound okay. Fine. Um, so I really like this franchise. Final just, Destination. Final Destination. Just for what it is, it is a, just they're just fun. They know what they are. are. They know exactly yep. what they're trying to be. It's glorified snuff, bro. That's that's all it is. I mean, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> the but log like, scene. The log scene. Oh, the log dude. scene is as traumatized. <laughs> it's everyone's it's, nightmare fear. It's yep. like anytime I'm behind yeah. one, I'm like, I gotta move over. Yeah, I still can't. I still can't. You know, <laughs> dude. The there's so many good kills. There's like so the kills. the tanning bed one. The tanning oh. bed. I was gonna say that one too. Dude, the tanning bed one. So the good. Uh, all. I think all of these are the same movie. There's the weight bench crushing the heads. Yep. Uh, and is then it, is the, there a gymnastics one? Is yeah, one? that one was gymnastics yeah. one. Yeah. What's there's that one? The fucking NASCAR kill. Oh, the NASCAR one's the NASCAR brutal. Is fucking brutal. I, I think the most brutal one though was uh, kind of also car related. It was the drive through, the engine block, like oh, came yeah. through oh, the head, and, like spins on his what head. What about the little kid getting crushed by the glass? Oh, yeah, that's fucking brutal. They but were yeah. gonna make him like a like a like a six year old, I think, in the original oh. cut. Yeah, but yeah, so <laughs> barbed wire, <laughs> the, great. Great. the barbed wire, right. the barbed wire through the person. Oh yeah, I, see, I thought the cube. I thought that was Tommy that was, Lee uh, Sean, forever. It was uh, really. Sean. What's his name? Um... The goon. He's from oh, goon. Sean William Scott. Yeah, Sean William Scott was the guy who got barbed wired. Yep. So, so Glover no, that just like Saw. He was on the train track with the piece of metal that sliced and his head off. Sliced his head off. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. he was the one who witnessed the bar barbed wire. Yes. Got it. F Final Destination, really fun for what it is. I, I don't think it's better than Scream. I Scream uh, yeah, I don't think so. You're right. Going for it. Yeah, I Scream think has way better characters. Like, well, I don't way better, way better story. Name. The I meta think, thing is great. The meta thing is so much fun. I mean, if you can think about it, meta, I mean, Final Destination is meta in a different kind of way where, like, they know. <laughs> that, I don't know. You good? No, <laughs> I, I think it's like a story as a whole and a continuation of a story screams way better. Yeah. But I think as a franchise, Final Destination, you just know what you're going to get when you walk in. That's true. That's, that's a very and, good point. That's and, true. like, with Scream. You didn't you, know you were you, gonna get three. You, That's the like, point. You're not. You supposed could to get know. a bad one. You could get a good one, but like Final Destination, it's gonna be good because you, you you know what they're doing. They're killing people. They're killing people. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Like Saw. There's Just no like, like yeah. 
Yeah, but I think there's bad Saw movies. I think there's you bad know? Saw movies. There's, there's plenty bad of bad Saw, saw movies. You, you think there's a bad Final Destination movie? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> I've only, okay, we'll shut up now. <laughs> I've only seen like one, three, I think, and five, I think. I think I've seen them all. Um, what, what happens in three yeah. again? Oh, that's a roller coaster one. A roller coaster one, yeah. I'd say five is probably because I only watched that one really for like the bridge scene, like, where the the, the, prim, the premonition. Oh yeah, one. and the whole th- bridge collapse. Yeah, and three stuff. people die from rebar somehow. Yeah, <laughs> All right. maybe I haven't seen that one then. So, um, oh, I don't know. You just threw a wrench into the mix. I, I, I mean, it, I was dedicated on. I was going to say scream I'm, no bar. I'm when I looked at the when I looked at these when they sent them to me, I literally thought, well, if I had to pick one. I have to go with Final Destination be- just because I know what I'm going to get every time I go in, and I'm going to be satisfied when I leave. I think you're right. I think you're I, right. I think the problem with that is that Scream just keeps going up right now. Yeah. Scream is getting better. And that's why I think it's... Yeah, but they're it, getting better from garbage. Mm, I the mean, three was the garbage. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, his face was the best. <laughs> like, one's awesome. like, one's awesome. Yeah, One, two and three. Two, and two is great too. I don't know. Also two. But yes, three was garbage. I will say it. Three but is then not great. Four, five, six keep getting better. Like Final Destination, we haven't had one in you, how long? Can I just uh, say and something? And we're getting here. a new one. Th- that but. might that might be the answer to why it's better because it's not going to get ruined. Do you know what I think every time I think think of Scream now though? Mm-hmm. I think of Scary Movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent that. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I don't think of the killer. I think of him smoking a bong. Going Weather. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I think of the scary movie, um, the, what's the guy's name? The sheriff. Uh, oh, yeah. Doofy? <laughs> Doofy. <laughs> no, okay. I can't. I can't even come in my room. Yeah. He's got the oh vacuum God. cleaner. And out. then it's like, whatever her name is, uh, who's the now the reporter for scary movie, and she's just like honeypotting this like <laughs> challenge <laughs> man the whole time. And I'm like, guys, come on. So, so like, that yes, you're great, right. Dude. That's what I think about. Like, I have a hard time differentiating too diluted <laughs> the real between because the Because of it's been made fun of too much. Final Destination. I I, uh, Final scream. Destination. I still say I'm going to go Scream, but, um, but Final, Final Destination, Destination wins. wins. Because of the fan vote. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, people. Damn, that, okay. one, that one hurt a little bit. That one hurt a lot. <laughs> no, okay. not okay. that one. Okay. okay, this one I think is really easy. Gavin, right. what's the next matchup? Next matchup is Batman v Superman. <laughs> Just that movie. That, that, Just that Superman one movie. Just that. Yeah, I remember that version movie with Christopher Reeves. All those and the, the right. Batman '90s movies, which includes Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. I think it's Batman, kind of no competition. I would like to say it's Batman, no um, competition, but there is some good parts of Superman. The first one, especially. The first one is very good. It, it, even though it's dated, yes, but the story is still there. It's the story of Superman. It's a s- symbolic symbolism of America, I guess. Uh, we, <laughs> we, I touched on it in our first matchup. I think like Superman one is might be the best Superman iteration. Mm-hmm. Like everyone hates on uh, what's his name, um, Marlon Brando. Everyone hates on Marlon Brando's yeah. performance yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but it's dude, weird. I think you that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so awesome. Like that's like a Hello. really fun story of like Krypton and like I feel like we get the best picture into what Krypton looked like besides it, that garbage sci-fi TV show. Yeah. yeah. Krypton. Well, I mean, this is a good argument. I, I uh, so argument. so I I really like that background. Um Superman but- 2 Superman two, Not I bad. I Not really bad. liked the the Lois and um, Clark Kent relationship. Mm-hmm. Like that's where she finds out he's Superman again. Yep. I think it's really the well done. Of the character is really well done. Except to go back to the first one, um, <clears throat> I'm not Superman. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> also, also, well, I don't that's just a, from the comic the character flaw right there. I don't think time works like that. No, it doesn't. To to it spin does not, the Earth backwards no, does, does not the plot, bring life the back. Plot. It would, little, you know, it would kind of just destroy all of the ecosystem. Yeah, <laughs> it would explode the world. Yeah, if you try, if even if you stop spinning the planet, everything we're go- currently moving at twenty one thousand miles per hour. Yes, yeah. and Whoa. if we suddenly became to a stop, we would become meat paste. <laughs> Meat yeah. paste. That's all right. <laughs> I like that's, that. It's just I like well, that. it was a fun <laughs> ride. <laughs> um, but then there's three and four. Um, yeah, quest for peace. That's just. Oh, how did that movie get made? Uh, corporate greed. 
In DC yeah. Universe. Yeah, That's I was how. Say they oh, were trying. So technically, Superman Returns. Isn't that supposed with Red and Brown? Isn't that yes. supposed to be Christopher yes, Reeves it Superman? Is. But you, you could take it even still. I don't think that's going to beat Batman one. I mean, but it's period. I don't want to. I, mean, I don't want to bring real life into that one. But yeah, I, it's it's got two people who share the same traits, but both behind the camera and starting. Oh, did Weinstein do it? Well, oh, he might have produced it too. Uh, so who, who Brian you Singer, saying? Kevin Spacey, uh, Harvey Weinstein. What did Brian Singer do? He, he was director. Uh, He's a pervert too. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez yeah. Louise. Yeah. All the X Men's. Well. Oh no. Yeah. Don't worry. That's well, that's one the two that. one <laughs> yeah. two especially. Hollywood is a anyway. high <laughs> scum. Anyway, the Batman movies. Villainy. <laughs> All right. While they don't have really any consistency with their with their tone, I still think there's a lot of things to love about all of them. Free. <laughs> <laughs> like time what to kill. freeze <laughs> like Batman and Robin I mean, oh that movie is shit I think if you know what I it love is I that movie because I grew up with that movie yeah but like that movie's back, awesome it's, it's, it's no, a shit movie dude. but it's great Bat card come on Bat card Bat, the, nipples. Bat, Bat nipples? nipples bro come on that one really brings it down but is it is it much worse than than uh, Quest for Peace I, think I don't George think it is so much top. I feel like Batman and Robin is so much better than all of the fucking Superman movies Batman and Robin is a good movie. You guys can hate on me all you want. No, it's not a good movie. Yeah, it's, it's a comic book movie. It's, I love it. It's, it's not supposed good to be campy. It's supposed to be corny. And it's supposed to be no, like that's wild, the Batman wildly unrealistic. Movie. That's supposed to be campy. That's supposed to be. Dude, it's the same It's the same it's story, so man. Bro, we it's the same character. It's the same thing. Well, no, it's not. It's the same character. It's not the same thing. Especially if it's it based is. off the earlier comics. Yeah, it's definitely going to be camp. Yeah. Like all the way. Oh yeah. Uh, it, well, even if it was based off the original TV show, it's camp. Yeah, this, yeah. He's fucking fighting a shark with his but fist. Let's I'll talk about first Batman. <laughs> talk about that one. It's so dumb. It's biting his leg. Yeah, it's like, biting his leg. <laughs> he's just punching a shark in the head. Michael Keaton. So dumb. Absolutely. Jack Nicholson, the Jack best, Nicholson, the best Joker. Best. Yep. Mm, this no, but um, he's very Hollywood. good. Very he's good. very he's good. good. He's, he's Jack Nicholson. I mean, what yeah. Do you, what else yep. do you expect? Um, and then Danny DeVito was a penguin. Great. Come on. So Sean doesn't like the penguin. Oh, it, it was just like I maybe. don't like him as the Riddler though. Oh, Jim oh Lee Jim, Jones? No, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Oh, Jim the, Carrey. The uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Two Face, idiot, right. loser. But, okay, fine. loser. See, I like Forever though. Like, I think that's a good movie. It's got the um the best sound, uh, the best single like uh what movie sound movie song out of all of them. Are you talking about Kiss uh, from a Rose, bro? Baby, <laughs> I compare you to a kiss from a rose <laughs> on the bay. <laughs> oh, the We're gonna get copyright slammed. Was that eight seconds? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, do you get right, copyright though. for for eight for no, singing? I don't think, it? I don't think I don't you're think singing. So. It's fine. It's the actual that song. That song is amazing. Key, but <laughs> out of key. Also, her check me whip. on that. Come on. All right. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Well. All right. I, I think it is pretty obvious. I, I'm going Batman. Yeah, I, I, Batman. Batman. Yeah, I think. It, yeah. Duh. And the fans agree. It's unanimous. All right. Where's the Batman? The, the, only, the only good thing DC has ever done. Oh boy, here we go. Another big one. This one I'm going to have to argue. Gavin? We got James Bond versus Mission Impossible. Oh. So I'm coming from a place where it's Mission Impossible. Really no question. Fuck off. All right. Um, we're so. t- okay, we're talking about franchise as a whole. Mm-hmm. There's way more stinkers than James Bond. Yeah. And there's their, way more movies than Mission Impossible. Right. But I think it's a net negative. <laughs> How Mission many? Impossible, you only get better. No. Disagree. James Bond, even, no. In, even in the. What? No, dude. I only seen two Mission Impossibles, and I'd tell you the fourth one was garbage. <laughs> the fourth one is garbage? Bro, the fucking. The, <laughs> the, the fourth one is garbage? The green screen virtual reality <laughs> hallway? Bro, okay, what? That That's some. I love that. What? No. Oh. I love that. And then, and then there's like 10 whole seconds of like, it's like five guards at this point. It's fresh oh, yeah. in my mind. It's five whole guards looking at this hallway and the hallway just is glitching. And they're, yeah. like, and they're like, oh, that's weird. What? What's going on there? Like, hey, asshole, it's wind. not real. <laughs> you know? And then dude, the... the <laughs> every time that's part of it that's part of it I like, like that they kept that going I oh like my that God. also since again I just saw the fourth one hand me a pen hand me a pen thanks he looked like this <laughs> bro what you you just drew a a, a <laughs> facial recognition of a person you saw bro, once can... ever on your hand and showed it to someone and Jeremy Renner was like 
Bro, that looks like Agent bro. Harris to me. Bro, what do you mean it's a Dude. crinkly drawing on a hand in with Thunderball? a pen? Thunderbolt? James Bond is literally like on like this fucking fuck machine thing, and they tie <laughs> yeah. him down to it, and he's like, I'm gonna die from fucking. Bro, but that yeah. was that was you like think the seventies. So do you think that's better? You, that was the seventies. Who gives a shit? It's part of the franchise, this, right? Yeah. This Yo. was 2015. So there is, <laughs> guys, there is no. camp in both of these franchises. There's definitely, and it's oh, fine. God. It's camp. The is invisible fine. car. What? Like the <laughs> bro, but that was like the uh, that was a product of the time. Shut up. The, the Mission Impossible <laughs> came out currently. Like, Wrong. There's no excuse to those. Um, yeah, James, the, the one James that came out. Bond. So our James Bond, all three of us, is probably Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, because he was yes. the one that grew up because he's the handsomest. Mine's yes, Daniel yes. Craig. Yes, yours Daniel yes. Craig. I agree. Uh, he is my favorite Bond. I think Daniel Craig's movies have the best movies. They just do. Out Daniel of all the, Craig's out of James are great. Bond. Daniel Craig's are great. Um, Pierce Brosnan. He he goes up and down, but like Goldmine, oh. fucking through the roof, so good. Amazing. The practical effects, the falling off of that that big ass uh, satellite, satellite dish. dish. Oh my god, that which that just whole scene. destroyed recently. Oh, oh. Um, earthquake. Oh. Mm. No, Damn I'm global sad. warming. No, I'm sad. <laughs> um, then there's um uh, whatever the world is not enough. Dude, all of the Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, die I mean, another die another day. Die another day is trash. But die another hard day is disagree. <laughs> is is uh, okay? It's trash, but it's fun it's Halle trash. Berry. Uh, Halle it's Halle Berry's Berry. Berry. <laughs> and come on, Halle Berry. <laughs> okay, and then you know, uh, but but the invisible car. Bro, really you know from Russia getting- with love. Uh, all of the classic ones with Sean Connery, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. all of those ones are that solid, bro. No. The, go- <laughs> the whole no, no, no. Um, Austin Powers. Do we like Pussy. Austin Powers? All of the Austin Powers stuff. Yeah, was- those are those are better. Those are better no, than the James Bond. No, no, no. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, oh my god, like Roger, Gold Member is like yeah, so funny, gold, like the funny suits and are all we that forgetting, shit. Um, go watch the originals. Come on. Just okay, the I do. I like George times. George Lazenby's one. Lazenby. I like that one. Lazenby. Which Lazenby. one is that? The the one where his wife dies at the end. What's it called? That was uh, Honor, Honor Majesty's Secret Majesty. Service. Yes. Uh, yeah, that yeah that's... I like that one. Uh, Skyfall, Casino Royale, great movies. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I yeah. agree. All the other ones that I've seen. Goldeneye? Not, no. no, I don't you even. like Goldeneye? That one's okay. Oh, my God. Bro, I thought it was just kind of a waste of time. What's the one? I, I can't think of the name because I have, uh, like, dyslexia, and I get all of the name mixed oh, up. Same. Oh, you're colorblind? Which one? Yes. <laughs> what, uh, what's the James Bond, the Sean Connery one, where they make him look Japanese? Oh, they, oh, they just that, like they um, like I don't li- very uh, they very lightly like shade him and like for rip? No. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, it might be that um, <laughs> and they like give him like really thick I don't like remember. eyebrows and well, like, that was the Cold War so and he's well. just like very like not politically yeah. correct it Some is like so haven't funny aged well yeah well like I said I mean you can't fault the movie for that because if that's the case look at all the original trilogy Star Wars movies like everyone looks past that so in this situation we have to look past I can't look past the fucking machine um, thing I just can't it's so stupid he's gonna laser his balls off just when you've seen fuck machines as much as I have I guess they stop being such a big deal. Right, if, I'm, <laughs> if I'm talking quality, oh, nice humble brag there. Mission, <laughs> Mission Impossible has the higher quality. Exactly. Say, exactly. That's the point. Would, that's not the. I only don't think point, so. Though. It's a better like, franchise. What? How do you base that? You're saying like the recent Mission yeah. Impossibles were spent more money on because look at all of the recent Daniel Craig ah! movies. There was the exactly, same amount exactly. of exactly. I'm, I'm, money. I was getting to that. No, so the, 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 oh, even even in individual yeah. like eras of James Bond, there's been good ones and then there's been shit ones. Even Daniel Craig. Look, look, look at the MCU. Yeah, well, the, that one was. You know, get to, but Mission Impossible has only gotten better and more consistent, and mm. you know, it I, started. I don't think so. Recently, yes. What? Well, Recently, not. yes. You tell me all. Like, Dude, I can't. Fallout speak. is a it's fucking classic. Yeah, but how about, watch how about two watch and three? Three is great. One's two is great. the worst, but it's still a good them? movie. I haven't seen two. Which one? Two or three? I've only seen For one. one. Mission Impossible. Yeah, three. Oh, yeah. I love. Three. Are they any good? Mission Impossible One is a little silly. Yeah, but it's still good. Two. I think the villain is the problem with two. He's just not totally convincing as like a like a bad villain. And then the the only really good scene in the movie is they have this crazy motorcycle chase. In my opinion, I'm sure other people are gonna shit on me for that. But like the one and two, they're still good movies. They're not like they're not bad by any means. But like I feel like, um, yeah, they those movies have gotten better though as they've gone on. They definitely have gotten better. I mean, I know I'm going to lose, but I just think I can. Okay. Uh, final thoughts. I'm with Bond as a collection. It's fucking amazing. All of them are good. I don't know a bad one. I feel like yeah. it's just, it's just, it's, 
it's James Bond just because it's been around so long. Like they've been able to get on base for so many years, and they oh we can make another one, guys. Oh we need we can we need to reboot they, it. And, and sure, they're yeah. Consistent. They're every they were every two years in the seventies and eighties. They kept coming out. They were a machine. Which I know that kind. I'd of, rather wait all, for quality than okay. But but you haven't seen any of those. You seen you seen I've the seen I've seen like you've seen like I've seen like six or seven or maybe I think you've seen like five. I've seen like eight James Bond movies, including all four of the Daniel Craig's. Yeah, five. so you've seen four of the twenty. Wait, no, no, I've seen I've seen like ten then because I've seen I've seen a little bit of uh, I've seen George Lazen, Lazen, Lazenby, Lazenby. Uh, um, some two Sean Connerys. I've seen uh, Pierce Brosnan and seen right, Roger right, Moore. Right, right, right. I've but seen all, I've seen like Moore's ten or eleven. Yeah, okay. So I've seen a lot, and I've, I get I get a feel for what it is. Mission Impossible is just it knows what it is, and it's just going to keep so getting James better. James Bond, James Bond knows what it is, especially in it doesn't know. Final what it is. thoughts: We were act Mission Impossible. Isn't it? James Bond. Mission Impossible. Oh, but that means uh, James Bond wins. James Bond wins. Fuck Good. You guys. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, I'm glad there was at least a. What was the uh, uh, voter poll? Oh on that yeah, one? I'll check. Was that. it was it close? I I'll also check. think. Uh, really, just really quick. Yeah, you're good. Go there are better spies than Mission Impossible. Yeah. What? There are team. James Bond. Yeah, it's just James, him. James Bond. I feel like if you walked into a bar and you were like, looked at James Bond and looked how he was acting, like throughout the years, you'd be like, yeah, guys, definitely. <laughs> well, bro you, gives everyone his real name. Two, yeah. <laughs> Two hundred thirty-four votes. Eighty-one percent James Bond. Wow. Damn. The only <laughs> reason why Whatever. you couldn't peg and Ethan Hunt would be because he's wearing a sorry. false always, mask. Always, yeah, he's always. And, and I noticed all of his disguises. Mustache, <laughs> mustache. He's got masks. Hey, it's, like it's a mask, bro. It's mustache, almost as if man, he wants to have a mustache, him. but he can't grow <laughs> you one. Just trust the mustache, That's me. man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust this guy. Look at him. I mean, look at him. Is he can't be trusted? I am trustworthy. Yeah, that sounds that sounds the worst thing you could have said. I am trustworthy. All right, here's the next one. This one's going to just be funny, I think. <laughs> next up, we got Fast and Furious versus Pirates of the Caribbean. Family. This is perfect. <laughs> All right. This so, is one I don't have any stake in. I really. All right, so Fast and Furious. I've seen Fast and Furious movies way more than the Pirates. Yes, I I FaceTime. Remember the second one? I was, was so drunk. I was so drunk during the second one. I do not remember that movie. The second Fast or the Pirates. 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 Uh, which one? That's Dead, uh, like, dead Man's Chest. No, we okay, were literally right. me and Mike were sitting there watching it, and we like he somehow turned on the third one. I didn't realize. Um, and I'm like, oh, is that Zoe Saldana? Because you were talking to Chris. <laughs> like I kept, I kept talking. I'm like, is that Zoe Saldana? And it was like, yes, it is. But is that Zoe Saldana? And then the song was like, I gotta see if that's her. And then I started going on IMDb and I typed, started typing in Gamora. <laughs> and then Godzilla kept coming up. <laughs> and then and then Mike is like, Oh, I got it. It's like, how do you spell how do you spell Zoe? He's like, Oh, I got you. I C E space. You know, because he was talking about Ice Spice before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, um, that is way long of a thing. All right, so I just, I've seen all pirates. the Fast and Furious movies, and I don't really give a shit about the Pirates movies. So, okay, so Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp kills it. Uh, Orlando Bloom kills it. Uh, yes. Keira Knightley, I guess, kills it. Whoever <laughs> plays Bart Bosa. I was going to say Bart Bosa kills it. Oh, you're right. Uh, Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. No, that was that weak. Was weak. That was the weakest one. That was weak. That's the oh, weakest shit. one uh, in my. So sorry, that movie sorry. sucks. Who plays Davey? Uh, oh, Bill Nighy. Bill, Bill Nighy. Nighy. Fuck. That, Great I thought, CGI. I thought it was hot. Great yeah. CGI. Yeah, he looks oh, dope. No, Dude, his little Fucking Cthulhu tentacles. tentacles. And oh, then he so like cool. he like oh. hands the key. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe you guys are right. Well, I didn't say anything yet. I didn't. We well, I'm starting to think because like yet. Fast and Furious has literally nothing to offer other than like. Well, have you seen Fast the five? last? Have you seen the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie? I just watched. Oh no, yeah, it was five. bad. I don't, I don't know why I watched it. Um, Ended on it was pretty a awful. sour note. You yes. think you think it was sour? Well, I'm gonna say if you look at the other Pirates of the movies, like one through I forget how many there are. There's five. Five. Are there five? So one through four, really great movies. All no. of them are pretty good. Great. All right, good movies. They're all really good movies. The first one's four. great. The, the World's End is kind of where you lose me. All right. Um, or at that, the, the World's the End, whatever the heck one, it is. five, I didn't Garbage. Like it, it was garbage. It's hot garbage. Uh, the, the only good thing about the last movie, spoiler alert to those that care, they they undo like everything that has been done in the Pirates movies. Yeah, be, because yeah. they like get Poseidon's 
um, trident and they like break all of the curses of the sea. So therefore, who, uh, Orlando Bloom, who was trapped as Davy Jones, was free to go like spend time with his wife. Kira Knightley came back. They had a son. It was cute and all that jazz. But besides that, the movie was garbage. I see. Uh, Fast and Furious, I've only seen the odd number ones. So one, three, five, and seven. What? Why? I've only, I don't know why. That's just how it happened. Okay. Um. So like, I saw one and three like when I was a kid. Um. Those are the best ones, though. Yeah. They, they are very good. Yeah. One and three. Five. But when you showed me five, I was like, "Fuck, this is yeah, good." Like, five is like we're when something the else. Toe now. in the bank fall. That was so. Good, like that whole chase scene is so well done. I, I really liked four too. Like, was four the one where they were smuggling shit from Mexico? Mm-hmm. Like, they came through yeah. the tunnel. Yeah, that was really cool. F bomb Camaro. What? Sorry, <laughs> I, like I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Um, and, and then like the whole gag and that joke was like, uh, oh, whoever the woman was, the woman Jordana Brewster. Thank you. I don't know. Mia? Wait, yes. Sister? Yeah. Wait. No, uh, no, no, no. The um, Michelle Rodriguez, the the secret agent lady. Secret agent, like yeah, there was. She was like, she was like to Vin Diesel, "You owe me like a a ten second car." And then like at the end, he's like, "There's your ten second car." It's like like yeah, a, it it's like oh a Gal Gadot, Mas- uh, Gal Gadot. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. How could I forget that? He like hands her like the keys to like a an SUV. He's like, "There's your ten second car." I'm like, "What, dude? You just trashed all of these hot rods and like <laughs> these super fast and furious cars, what? and you give her a fucking mom vehicle?" Yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> After give the her first three fast we they really money. developed it into <laughs> this kind of super spy franchise that was mm-hmm. just dumb. It, um, it's like it's a summer blockbuster movie. They so really turned it into that. I loved the Fast and Franchise movie when it first came out. My like that was my jam. When it was about one? cars, yeah. When it was about cars, I loved one. I love two. Yeah, two. Tokyo two Drift is almost so better. Two is, two is almost, almost better, better than one. Yeah, I, just, you know. Okay. <laughs> but like, once they started doing the spy thing, like four, uh, five, great. Come on, five is the best one. Five got to be good, but that's when they started getting silly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Six, seven, and eight, and they're on nine now, right? Ten. They're on they eleven. Did, they did okay. ten. Well, nine if, and if we're ten. counting the spinoffs. I watched, oh, and Hobson Shaw, yeah. I watched 9 and Fuck. 10. And let me tell you, I was mad <laughs> when I left that theater. I was really mad. Because yeah. uh, there was two scenes in particular. The fucking scene when they go to space when they have duct tape <laughs> around their neck. The fucking space They're scene. wearing the, the, the dive fish. helmets. Yeah, and I'm like, no. No, and no, then, no, And then no, they no. drive it through a satellite yeah. as if it would hold up through driving an explosion in space. <laughs> also, with the car tape. would hold up. Exactly. Dude, like leading up to oh. um, these movies, like eight or nine or whatever, whatever we went to space, we were like, oh, they're going to go to space next. And they fucking went to space. We're we were like, Are joking you about me? it. It's a it was, joke. It was bad. And there's another scene where like they drive through a mindful in the field and they're like, but what about the mind? And they just go, if you drive fast enough, you can make it. And they, they just still fucking blow up all of them. And I was like, this is so fucking all right. stupid. Yeah. All right. Well, we haven't talked really a lot about Pirates of the Caribbean, but I think it's, I think it's, it's y- pretty y- clear. There's so much shit in the Fast and I think the yeah. Fast and Furious movies don't take themselves serious. Um, so yeah, Pirates like, used to, at least. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, Pirates movie. is still trying to do something. Like They're still trying to tell well, a compelling they're, story. They're about to reboot it. So. If fam- uh, Fast and Furious is about family and nothing else. So the script is literally talk about family. Period. <laughs> Done. Vin <laughs> Diesel on the Rock can't lose fight. So My favorite, I'm going pirates. I wish I'm going it, pirates. Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I wish that they they if they're gonna like stay in the meme or whatever. I wish they would have just called fast like fast X. They called it fast in your seatbelts. <laughs> I, I just wish meme. they would do that. It was because like good. they already did the space thing. Why Bro, not? it's it's Why not, not even about cars anymore. No. All right. Next. Next. We have John Wick versus Terminator. John Wick, right? It's John Wick, right? Uh, John Wick. It's John one, Wick, right? One, two, three, four. All, all, all bangers. Of them, all of them are bangers. Close. The, the <laughs> action. Talk to the hand. <laughs> I need to close. Terminator close one and two. The, bangers. It's one and two. That's it. <laughs> one and two no versus one through four. Rise is good. No, it's a good I really like Rise. It's a fun summer movie. But there's not much. She enlarges her breast to that movie. Yeah, but it wasn't. It <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> the next like, scene was even worse than that, where he stole all the strippers' clothes, and yeah. then he like put on the strippers' glasses, and they were like funky, like, yeah, were, like goofy glasses, glasses, and just with just with no motion. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's it's so good. It's great. It's great. Terminator Salvation, uh, it could have been great. It's yeah, such it a cool potential. idea. 
It had potential. I don't know what to. I rewatched happened. that recently for the podcast too because I'm like I forget. I remember liking it and then I rewatch it and I was just like, wow, this could have been so good. Yep. I and saw, the, they had so many cool scenes in it and I'm just like, but overall the story is like not good. Not there. I it's saw Genesis there. in theaters and I was very I'm upset so after sorry. it. I was like, I'm so sorry you uh, paid to watch that movie. <laughs> yeah, that was before Regal yep. Unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Dark Fate and Dark Fate just kind of pissed off all the OG fans by killing yeah. off John Connor right in the first two minutes or so. Yep. Spoiler alert. You don't give a shit though. Yeah. They just Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and then they just replace him with another character exactly like that. They're like, he's no longer John Connor. He's not called John Connor, he's but he does the same exact thing. Bob Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes. But John Wick, come on, John, dude. The stunts, the killing of the dog in the first, like, 10 minutes. That, is that a pro or a con? That was a con, but Got then it, it turned just, into just a clear. pro for the whole franchise. Like, it's it's... Uh, it's so, just so good. The it's cool thing, story writing. The cool thing about John Wick sure. is that it didn't have to do any of like the. It, it, it could have just been just a regular revenge story: kill a dog, kill a couple of guys. No, they have to do this whole entire fucking world building. There's this assassin yeah. network. Yeah, which was cool. Like it was well. It's done. so cool, and there's rules, and there's like there's really coins. this cool like vibe to the whole <laughs> and thing. They really rode that line too, because that movie, the whole f- killer thing, that everything could have been really. Di- it could have fallen yeah. on their face. Yep. Yeah. But I, I might be a contrarian here. It didn't. You are. It might be. I really don't think it's that special. I, I, to me, it just feels like they're flying by the seat of their pants. They're like, let's spend With all. Continental, of, yeah. They're like, let's spend all of our budget yeah. on ammunition and fake guns, and then you know we'll hire the writers last. It's like, I, hey, mm-hmm. it's like, hey, we have to spend two hours of him running for his oh, life, so. and then somehow survive miraculously at the end. Like that's that's every single John. Wick I will movie. say, I'm glad in the second one. To the third one, they moved away from the bulletproof suits because everyone was just abusing them. Like literally, he would just pull up his lapel and be like, "I blocked it, my head." Exactly. So, Keanu okay, is not right. a great actor. Keanu is <laughs> what? Not, he is not a great. What actor. What are you doing? Come on, dude. He's not. He's a great guy. My he's at you, he's so. very. Good he might be Jesus reincarnated, he, but he's not he's, a good actor. He's, he's not a good actor. He's just like <laughs> he's Jesus. What? It, just look at his acting, dude. He has no emotion. He's just kind of just like. Oh yeah, I'll do this. Just and look at him like, in Dracula. I know where the bastard sleeps I at don't night. Know, it's not necessarily the writing. Hey, it's just, well, I guess we'll just wait to see him as he Shadow of the Hedgehog. In money. <laughs> and plus the whole dragon's Oscar breath movie. scene from the four. Holy shit! Good, right? Just so good. In the above shot. Yeah. Ah, God, glorious. so good. I mean, it's definitely entertaining and it's fun. Um, but like, I definitely don't think anything they're doing is like that whole movie is Keanu Reeves' stunt. Like it's it's like just watching Keanu Reeves perform stunts, so I don't need four movies of that. Um, I really like Terminator One, Two, Three. Um, I feel like it should have stopped so there, but you're probably in the minority for three. What do you like about three? The the action, bro. The the, the one scene he crashes a fire truck into like a crane, and then he uses the crane to slap the like I'm gonna say fembot to quote uh, Austin Powers slaps the fembot off the front, and then they're like, oh, we have to go to the particle accelerator. The magnets will like suck them in, and then it ends in a nuclear holocaust. That's true. Okay, that is pretty cool. Come on. I also yeah, like, no, I, cool. I will say the one scene I really always liked from three was the scene where he throws him in the coffin. It's fucking mini gunning the people. Oh, the yeah. They're, they're like, oh, it's, uh, we're going to your mom's like burial place or whatever. And he just like punches through the mausoleum, drags the coffin out, and he's like, oh my God, it's my mom. He's like, like yep. And then, <laughs> and then they open it, and it's just like, according to her wishes, we prepared and stockpiled ammunition. And it's like machine gun, like RPGs, and like fucking shotguns. <laughs> It's like, like that's the kind of will that I want. <laughs> okay. All right. We actually got to get going on this, but um, I'm saying Terminator. John Wick. John Wick. John Wick. All right. And the fans, also John Wick, 74%. Whatever. <laughs> I do love Terminator, though. It's great. Dark Fate is. Terminator. I'm just not, I'm just not the buying into the, the John Wick hype. Okay. The later movies. That's, that's fine. We're so bad. All right. That Gavin. It doesn't outweigh the fact that the first three are really good. True. True. It's just what it is. Terminator 2 is amazing. Uh, yeah, is. The Future's next, the next round is The Conjuring versus Friday the Thirteenth. Like you said earlier, I got no stake. I got no right, stake so in this. Conjuring. Oh, I am in the con- contrarian that the second one is better, 
because um, most people like the first one better, right, Danny? I think, most yeah, I like I the said. first one. Most people. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think the second one's better because like, it goes worldly, but the story, I think, is just better. You have this family in London who is being haunted by this old man who is just, I don't know, just all the shots they do in that movie. Like the background of the girl turning into the old man, that whole scene, that that sticks with me. The What's the old, uh, the tall, skinny uh, fucking... Uh, Oh, the Slender Man looking Slender Man looking dude. What's his name? That's a different movie remember. franchise. I've, no, it's not. Tall, um, I think it just is. He's the tall man. I, no, he's not the tall man. The uh, bye bye. Whatever. Man. He's really cool. He comes running out of a little tent in the hallway. Yeah. Real cool. Uh, uh, his name. The tree scene at the end where they're just like almost gonna get like impaled by a tree. Just it's it's so it you brings only the, talked about the one and two. Oh yeah. I would like to argue that the problem with the Conjuring franchise. All the other ones. That, all the other ones aren't very good. Yeah, and yeah, none of them are good. Annabelle, no. I remember watching that movie in the theater. I went and saw it in the theater. I was with a bunch of friends, and there's a scene where the lightning is flashing. She's looking down the stairs, and and she's looking down the stairs, and all of a sudden, there's a giant fucking goat demon, and the goat demon is not scary at all. <laughs> and we, everyone in the theater burst out laughing. It was supposed to be the scariest scene in the whole movie, and everyone was laughing, and I'm like, that's not good. See, I never saw the first Annabelle. Oh, no, no, I did. I did see that. I don't remember that. But they brought that back in The Nun, too, I think. They yeah, did. They He's did. just in the stairwell. He's, like, He's in the stairwell, like, looking for <laughs> them. Did we really need thing. that many movies in The Conjuring franchise? No. We don't. <laughs> do we need that many in Friday the 13th, though? Wow. Absolutely. We do yes. not. <laughs> yeah. No. My argument for Friday the 13th is that, you know, the, the other Conjuring movies... The ones that are bad are pretty bad. Wait, didn't we already do Friday the 13th? Didn't we do Friday the 13th no. first? No. Nope. Let yeah, me know yeah. Halloween. Friday the oh, 13th. Each single one of them has at least some moment or instance where you're like, all right, that was good. Yeah. There's not, like, every single one of them has at least a couple kills that you're like, man, that was great. Like, the sleeping bag kill, great. Mm. And, and, like, even in Manhattan. Like, there's parts of that movie that are just awesome. Bam! When he punches the dude's head off, <laughs> when he kick, crazy. he's walking and he kicks the fucking uh, speaker. Like, dude, that's yeah. a great scene. The disco scene on the boat. <laughs> the disco scene on the boat. There's just like... It's so funny. There's just a lot of... Like, there's so much good stuff in Friday. Talk about camp. And then, and camp. then the camp. And, like, all the yeah, kills in Friday are just like... Some of them are just so over the top. Or, like, who <laughs> thought of that? Like... like Good job. <laughs> good job. Like I was looking at the, uh, the Rotten Tomato scores on them. They're not good. <laughs> no, I mean not, critics hate them. So I mean, critics you gotta, them like a one. Yeah, I think a one was one of them. I well, think it's a classic slasher film, though. Most slasher films do really poorly with critics. Look oh at, yeah, well, because there's nothing Halloween. else to them. Yeah, but it's they got they got the charm. They I got think the charm. I think the the thing with the Conjuring is so they have one good movie that's critically acclaimed, right? Two, two. but it's um, it's just it's kind of a ripoff of Exorcist, right? Can we all agree on that? A little bit. Uh, no. Well, what well, part? There's of no possessed really. little girl. What's all the possession? Yeah, but there's no yeah, little girl. Possession, but like that's. that's and there's a, there there's two. There's, there's no vomit. This time there's two people that know what's going on instead of one. You mean the priest? I mean, I yeah. guess, but like, and they're teaching. It, it's I don't okay, know. It seems, it's done better. But anyway, my point is that <laughs> I feel like the Conjuring only has something to lose in each movie, while the Friday the Thirteenth is starting at such a low bar. And like you said, each movie has I agree. something to. I think to that bring in. I think that's well said. the The Friday the Thirteenth movies get better as they go on, <laughs> yeah, be, they do. because well, it it and, finds out what it is. Like like the well, Jason gets better as they go on. Exactly, the movies there you don't go. necessarily. The, the movies get stay the better. same, but the kills get better. The yeah. kills get better. So that's so they kind of like yeah. find their stride, and like it gets better. I mean, yeah. but. I don't know. The con- I'm not a fan of The Conjuring, but I know like everyone in the world thinks that's like the greatest modern horror franchise. It's just kind of cool that it's a universe of horror uh, movies. Then there's the lot you're They're building. We don't it. talk about that either. I, yeah. I will say, I remember when The Nun came out, I was so excited for I that movie. And then it sucked. Like, yeah, and then it sucked. And I was so crushed. Yeah. The Nun 2 the is Nun 2 even was worse. Actually, no, no, it was not. Yeah, I about creation, though? I feel like The Nun 2 was almost a little better than The Nun. Yeah. Oh really? It was yeah. better. Well, I like Annabelle Creation out of. I think that's my favorite one. I haven't seen that. Yet. Best one out of all. I of I've seen it, but I don't. Re- I was gonna rewatch it because I was like, I don't really remember but what happened. It's just that. they do something that I would never thought they would do. They kill off the main character. They, like there's this girl you're following the whole time. She got polio. You feel so bad for her, and she's being like a, you know terrorized by the demon. And uh, they're just like, yeah, fuck it. She dies, and then her like little best friend. Uh, she's now the main character, mm-hmm. and like you know, she exercises ah! the demon and stuff, and it's 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 just really good. But that's the only that in the in the Conjuring one and two 
Conjuring 3, not a good movie. I think objectively, if we're talking best movie. Best franchise. Best franchise. franchise. Conjuring. 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 Yeah, I'm going to go Friday the 13th because there's, there's, something that, there's something that brings me in every time. Oh, I don't. Fan I, vote. Fan vote is Conjuring. Conjuring. Yeah. We always leave it. Yeah, well. What do you do? Let's see what the vote was on that. I, I win them all. Interestingly enough, all of the ones decided by fans I've been supporting, um, but that Jaws one I really did not support. The Jaws one was just so great that, that was out of Jaws out of left field. I mean, it was, was close, like, but Dan literally was like watching the vote 300. coming in, and he was like, "No, no, no, no!" no, no, no. <laughs> I was just like, "What's happening?" Uh, I'm like, "This is amazing." 328 total votes, 89 percent content. Wow. Yeah. yeah see, right. it's it's like Move one of, of it's like I, one of the most successful modern day horror yeah, franchises. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I, I think you, you got to like Friday. To yes, like, I do. I do like. I Friday. really do. Have to like it. Like, if you don't like it, you don't. I I really like it, but objectively, Conjuring's better. Yeah. All right, last one of round one. Which we're going to have to speed run the next yeah, one. Yeah, we are. We're going to do less time. All right, up next is X-Men versus The Matrix. Movies that end in X. <laughs> yeah, that was the category. That <laughs> um, X-Men, the, f- the original trilogy, really good. One, two, three. Really good. Wow. Well, Besides three. Um, three, three. <laughs> three. Three had something to say. Like, it was fun, but it wasn't great. One and two, bangers. Um, Days of Future Past, banger. Uh, Deadpool one and two, banger. Oh, yep. it goes that far. Deadpool yeah. one and two. It stops at Deadpool two. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we got oh, New no, Mutants. We got, New so Mutants we got Dark Phoenix. New Mutants two. <laughs> yeah. Those are all included. Yeah, they're yeah, all. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of X Men. Yeah, think about X Men. It's well, just like there's so such. It's again highs and lows. Super high, super low. So originally, I was fully on board Matrix, hundred percent of the way. But now that you've included all those, <laughs> first class. That's only. But the Matrix is only one good movie. Stop, dude. But then we'll it, talk it's about only one good movie. I, li- I like the first three. Uh, the, fourth the fourth one is poopy. Two and, four, four, two and three are, are definitely not as good. Yes. They're, they're okay. Mo- I'll watch them. Uh, no, the four, I can't stand. Movie. Bro, the, the mech scene in... What is, it, uh, is it Matrix uh, Revolutions? Or is it Revolutions is the third one? Yeah, the third yeah. one. When he's in a that's awesome. And he's like, oh, yeah. jam. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh. And the kid's that's just kicking awesome. it, being like, I'll save you and the, the guy just getting shredded. It's awesome. Oh, that is so epic as fuck. So think about Matrix like those those sequels. They just got too all up in their own shit. Of what like, do you, mean? you know, like we're we do we they had a subtle convoluted. reference to Jesus convoluted. in the first one. They got Let's convoluted. make the whole thing about this guy being the Messiah. And like they didn't even do it in a creative way like Dune did, where like we're comedy. It's just like this Neo's the fucking Jesus now. Guess so. And then yeah. like he dies with a cross yeah. coming through his body and stuff. It's so on the nose. And I just can't stand it. And then they're all up in their own shit. Is this my phone going off? No, I think it's mine. Uh, they they could all up in their shit with like resurrections too, where they're like you know, one of them's gone. Like one of the what shouts resurrections left. is. No, like, let's make it the most meta thing ever to it's where stupid. You get so just stupid. Like, ugh, you know, X Men. They objectively. No, objectively, they have. It, it's just a better franchise. I mean, they they have great movies. There's sure there's ones that make missteps and everything, but like Deadpool one and two are great. Um, they can't get the Dark Phoenix storyline right. Phoenix I don't know what's going on with there. They should uh, just leave that shit Apocalypse alone. Apocalypse is they trash. Um, but First Class, first Days class. of Future Past? Oh, Come yeah. on, dude. Dude, yeah. the yeah. Days of Future Past, the flashbacks were so cool seeing mm-hmm. like the, the core X-Men and like some of the ones that none of you uh, normies would recognize. Like yeah. all of them to their like full power fighting off Sentinels. Oh my God, dude, it is so epic. And then like the the modern day or the I guess the retro Sentinels we saw with like mm-hmm. Bolivar Trask cool, by uh, what's really, his what's his name Peter, uh, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Those Sentinels were the coolest fucking thing on mm-hmm. screen ever. Mm-hmm. I so, think the coolest thing in the X Men universe for me is the Snicked. Is the Quicksilver fucking? Oh, oh forgot about those. We're mm-hmm. talking about the Wolverine I think he's movies too. Best one. X. I love those too, dude. Logan, the Wolverine, yeah. Logan, eh, all of them are in there. You too. lose me there. Fuck you. What? Logan, you you lose like me. It's just because it's not old man Logan. No, Logan no, no. It has so nothing good. to do with that. It's just I don't know. I didn't like it. Ugh. Interesting. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't like. It. Oh right. well, actually, I do know why I didn't like it because the fucking tree stump. I mean, I'm gonna have. I can't <laughs> yeah. not mention comics. You know, adamantium skeleton doesn't lose to a tree stump. I I don't care how corroded it is. I don't care how sick the man is. He's not gonna die by a fucking tree stump. It's not happening. I'm sorry. But Bad. Even if even if like another Wolverine that had pure animation. Bro, well, then you I just know. leave the carcass of the old Wolverine. Maybe it'll take two weeks. Maybe it'll take a month. Maybe it'll take two months. But he's gonna wake up. 
The like, way he's not going to die by fucking tree stump. The way that X twenty four dies, <laughs> uh, I don't like. It doesn't make any sense to me. I didn't like, even like, like the addition of X twenty four. It's a clone. Yeah, it's so yeah, stupid. Yeah, Come X twenty three is a clone of him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. but it wasn't Hugh Jackman playing a second part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To uh, fight yeah. himself. It was yeah. come on. That's yeah. as yeah, cheesy it's, as it gets. It's a little bit on the nose, but it's so cheesy. Um, so no, but like he dies by getting like a, like a fucking hole blown out of his head from an adamantium bullet when he has a new skull made See? of adamantium. Yeah, no, that but that would the one in X Men Origins actually made more sense because it just kind of dented his. Yeah, brain. it's gonna wipe his memory. But but but, does, but yeah. if we're talking how we're gonna kill the Wolverine, the greatest killer ever created, Snicked. an adamantium bullet might do it. A fucking tree stump ain't. Well, it's like years of. It's no, years dude. and like thirty years of just like eating like that. Thirty years. That's how old do you think he is? No, no when they introduce he's like, like two hundred years old or older. No, no, when they introduce like the wheat that was in, in all the food products, that's what that's what killed Bro. all the mutants off. That's what no, how they no, it. no, 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 no. And he has a regenerate, but it's it's killing. That's his, not what his killed his all the mutants. Killed. He's the one who killed all the mutants. Yeah. Well, I guess the all of the X Men. He killed all of the X Men in that. No, Professor Xavier killed all the X Men. But the reason that new new mutants aren't being born is because of the the, the food yeah, supplies. In the comics, yes, it is Wolverine that kills all. Yeah, 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 yeah I don't. I yeah, guess, well, because I guess, Mysterio I guess made him believe. The story, that, I guess that's the story. But, but maybe I'm, they can make it better than Deadpool Wolverine. We'll see. Whatever. The, anyway. the thing is between X Men and the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. X, uh, X Men had its faults, but uh, X Men one and two were some of the best comic book movies ever. I'm going X Men all day. X-Men. X-Men Ma- all day. Matrix is just the first one to me. Just because they have so many good movies, I go with X Men. All right. I'm Dan. I'm Danny. Uh, this is Movie Drunks, and uh, see us again at our YouTube page, nope, uh, nope, mainmenpodcast.twitch.tv. Nope, 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 not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch.tv. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so we ran out of time. We talked a lot longer than I thought we were going to do on some of these. So we're going to have to end with all of round ones here. So starting in our next um, yes, starting in our next uh, episode, which will be the final rounds and everything. So we got the MCU against... The Wizarding World. We got Predator against Toy Story, uh, Rocky and Nightmare, uh, Indiana Jones and Born, eh. Conjuring and X Men, Pirates and John Wick, oh, Batman and uh, <laughs> Batman. Yeah, they're gonna Bond, get easier as we go. And Middle Earth and Final Destination. <laughs> That's gonna be a very interesting one. I, I can't a, wait to argue why uh, we put a Final Destination <laughs> is better than Middle Earth. Should we put a it vote might up? be. You yeah. don't know. Put another vote up for this Tune round. Uh, next week. Maybe, but then we can't do it for round three in the yeah, semifinal. Sure, yeah. No, and, so, and and our uh, director never got to say either. So I I like I liked how the rules were. It was in it was in the slides, Dan. It was, it was all in the slides. slides. Yeah, don't you remember? We didn't have Gavin yell. Out. <laughs> Gavin, can you show one more time? All right, so. Yeah, so next time we'll do the rest of it. Um, but yeah, for now, we're Seen It Before. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok with the handle at Seen It Beforecast. That's S C E N E, It Beforecast. And on Twitter with the handle S I B underscore pod. I'm Dan. I'm Danny. You can find me at Danny underscore Wass on my Instagram, my letterbox, serialize that DJ Wass, or my YouTube channel, which is just Danny Wass. You guys. I'm Joe Garcia. Don't come find me. I'll be looking for Joe Garcia on the Main Men podcast. Twitch.tv main men pod. slash main men podcast. Yes. Sean's podcast. It's great. All right, we'll finish up part two late. Whoa. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. Thanks, guys.